The Adam and Wax Show, we're back after a one-week hiatus because my guy right here, the round mound of rebound, my boy Wack 100, had to be off in the no, sunny tell streets what I was of doing Miami. Is out. It's out. I know it's out. I was just listening to a little snippet tell on your Instagram. Who, when I landed, when I FaceTimed you, what was it? You were with 6 9 Daniel Hernandez, <laughs> and you hit me with the FaceTime, and you wanted to make it. But you told me even before you went, I'm well, going to. to make this song happen. Kodak Black and 6 9 it's happening. We got the money. <laughs> it's it's happening. But see, I had and to you did because it. we were scheduled to do our segment. Right. So I'm like, damn, I can't just call Adam and tell him I ain't showing up. So I got to tell him. And I wasn't supposed to tell nobody. I told Adam, I said, bro, when I land in Miami, I'm going to FaceTime you. So mm. you know it's real. Not that Adam doubted me. It was just a gesture of respect. So, bro, no, I ain't bull****. Mm -hmm. And when I landed, because, you know, he picked me up all the time. So, okay, what was your conversation with 6 9 before you FaceTimed me? Because, for the record, he basically just told me that he's the biggest Latin artist in the world and asked me who the biggest artist I've had on in the last four years was. It was a brief conversation. He didn't, so this seem, my conversation. He didn't seem, like, super hateful towards me because, for <laughs> full disclosure, I'm trying to get him on an episode with me and you. Okay. And I'm sure me and you him will argue me, intensely once that happens. But when I told you what I was going to do, right, right, because I felt as a business partner, I owed you that. I was a I little shocked, but I, you know, you seem super just, serious. I, I can't believe. just tell you I ain't, I can't show up to some shit. We just start doing, and you know that's just like bad business. So I had to tell you, bro, I'm going to do this. I've been working on this shit for months. So when I got when he picked me up, I said, look, man, what's up with you? Because you said, man, you know me and six, six nine really don't like me. And you right. told me you brought a few of the uh, New York people on here. The Dirty shit. Bloods plus his baby mama. Or whatever, and right? The, 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 a bunch of people. So I said, listen, Six, Adam tell me you got a problem, but understand, bro, he got to run a business. So whatever the relevant topics are, he got to talk to people about it. Mm -hmm. So he's going to say. But I went overboard. <laughs> I don't know. I still ain't seen it, right? Oh. So he go to say, man, I don't know what the so with Adam did, I said, well, I'm going to call him on FaceTime, and we're going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I hit you, and I remember what your wife told me a couple weeks ago. I don't know what it is about you, Wack, but that answers your phone calls. Because <laughs> I ignore everybody else's calls. Right. That is so giving away my game, the fact that if you call me, I'm just not picking up. Yeah. So <laughs> when I FaceTimed you, Adam answered. You know, Adam always got this nonchalant shit. Nine in the morning, I'm Ooh. making eggs. I got whack on FaceTime all the so time. So he like, yo, what up? I say, look, he sees him. So he like, him and 6 9 start engaging in conversation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, I don't know. Y'all got to talk. 6 9 like, who's the biggest artist you had? Yeah. All this. You know, he going to flex. He's like, I'm the number one Latin artist in the world. I'm like, I don't know anything about the Latin world. So that's cool. <laughs> Long story short, that was the start of a 32-hour run. Okay, so you were down there in Miami just going nonstop? Why? Why? What, what, why 32 hours straight? No sleep? Straight. I think I got a crack house 45-minute nod. Okay. Inside of finger licking, because that's my boy spot. Pause. And, and uh, no, finger licking E-class. <clears throat> if y'all ass is down in South Beach of Miami, go to finger licking. That shit is incredible. E -class, you remember E-class? The one had Flo Rida and all that? I don't know. Okay, yeah. Okay, so he got like eight of them, but... The one on the beach is great. Got a bar and all that. So I went in there it's and got- fried chicken? They got everything. Oh, it's lobster, like a full restaurant? Okay. Lobster, soul food, all that. I hear Wings finger licking. It just sounds like fried chicken. So when I walk in, nephew in there. Okay. Uh, OT Genesis. OT he Genesis there, was with 6 9 No. He's Exposed. In, no. He's in figure licking, crip walking by himself. <laughs> I swear to God. OT is in there with a white t-shirt, some Nike shorts, with some Air Force Ones, Crip walking with a drink by itself. Because whenever I see OT on AD's Instagram story, that's usually what he's doing. So that's, that's good to know that it's not but just the that, story. Yeah. No, 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 that's him. You know, okay. I met OT stopping him for whooping somebody's ass before he the world knew he was. Was it DDG? No, 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 oh. no, no. How you know about that? Because AD and all of them talked about it on their stream one time. At the house party? Yeah. Uh, I've been meaning to shout hit out DDG, to DDG. too. I see the whole world against him right now. Who? For what? That's nephew. I guess it's just... I don't know. I think there's too much attention on him with his girl being who she is that now. He still with her, right? The, but like the evil girl meme pages on Twitter are like coming for him. Is calling he still him a, with her? Yes. Calling him a failed rapper and a loser and all. Like it's nigga, crazy DDG, how, how intense DDG they're being. DDG and Blueface got a collab album coming. It's crazy. A whole album. Wow. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> but so, all right, you stopped OT from beating someone's ass? Yeah, that was back in the day. That was like 20 fucking 13 or so. Okay. But um, listen, so I get to Florida. I tell uh, Kodak I'm here. So he say, nap, um, I'm going to take a nap and wake up. That means five, six hours fucking with Kodak. Okay. Then it takes like three conversations because out of 80 words, I only understand about 17 of them. Uh, okay. So I got to go back because Kodak, Kodak be talking like that pig Latin type of shit. That Z language? Yeah, but he's talking some real shit. He's real intelligent. Uh -huh. You just got to catch what he's talking about. Yeah. So long story short, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I had to go get the money together because it was a whole lot of money. First he wanted cash, then he wanted a wire, then he wanted a cashier's check. Then finally I sent him a copy of a cashier's check, and he was like, okay, cool. So now at this point in time, he like, I'm on my way. And was that just a conversation between you and Kodak, or were you talking to his manager? No, I only deal with Kodak. I okay. don't talk to nobody. And how did you even initiate that conversation? Because 6 9 has famously been trying to get a feature with a top-tier rapper all you for a punk while motherfuckers, now. Wack has been saying repeatedly, I'm going to make a feature happen. Have I not? Oh, apparently you did. Yeah, right? The first feature could have happened, but politics got in there. Who, young boy? Yeah. And that, that didn't happen because... It did, young it, boy didn't have the stomach for it. No, no, no. It had nothing to do with young boy. I got a call from one of my elders who I respect, who asked me, you know, to go another way. Really? You got elders that are hating on young boy. No, it's not hating. It's just some people call me. It's a handful of people that, regardless of what I'm doing or who I am, the respect I have for them. J Prince. I acknowledge for them. Nah, nothing. Oh wait, you don't. Like Dude, him. We talking top dogs. Never we talking. Mind. QCPs, we talking the Birdman's. Hmm. We talking industry-wise, cat like Mike Kaiser, or even Gabby Peluso. So Youngboy really is blacklisted. What you mean? Blackballed out the game. He says he's blackballed. Fuck no, nah, man. You got Everybody... top dogs reaching out to you. That means that he really is blackballed. No, that's not blackballed. <laughs> okay. You do YouTube. You know what that man does on YouTube. Youngboy? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he ain't no blackballing Youngboy. He got a coat and some other shit. Okay. So... Long story short, I go down there, and um, the first day I got to get all the paperwork done. Uh -huh. So I'm getting all the paperwork done, and everybody's signing. I had to meet with Fume. Fume Vapes put the bag up. That was the sponsor, okay. How I negotiated the deals, they got a great position because they own the Masters. Mm -hmm. They put a big bag up. You know, they did everything we needed them to do. So I had to meet with them. Um go over the particulars with them because they don't understand music. Mm -hmm. So I had to take the time to really go over everything so they understood it. Um, and then I left there and then I had to go meet with Kodak, get all that done. And then we set the time and the date. And, uh, you know, it was supposed to be like 8 o'clock. I seen Kodak by 1. <laughs> 1 a.m.? Hey, it is what it is. Hey, bro, you know, some things worth waiting on. Yeah, you got to accept Kodak that. Kodak pulled up. It's girl and his kid. Mm -hmm. that, just that? That's it. No security? No. Wow. With fire in his eyes. He get there. We go over everything. I give him the back end to his money. And um, he say, let's go. He have a, you know, a man-to-man -man conversation with 6 9 <clears throat> to let him know I respect Wack. Wack a business man. And Wack didn't let the world know he's doing business with you. So through Wack, this shit come together. Uh-huh. The man told me what he was going to do, and he did what he said he was going to do, mm -hmm. right? And they went out there, and it was great energy. Um, they knocked out these scenes. They sold loads. They got scenes together in the video. I don't know. Did they put the video up, too? I just saw the audio. I haven't seen the video yet. Okay, so they did all that. And then right before he left, shit, we kept it gangster. He came in a black car, and he left in a Rolls Royce. Really? Yeah, tossed him the keys, told him to go home. You gave him a car? I mean, Kodak left in the Rolls Royce. How'd he get the Rolls Royce? I mean, we tossed him the keys, told him to go home. It's love. Like here's a bonus car on top of your feet. what it is. He put his baby seat in that bitch. He jumped in the driver's seat. <laughs> the baby he put seat. his driver in the passenger seat, his queen in the back, and I jumped on the freeway with him. What was the vibe like between 6 9 and Kodak? Kodak, you know, he went into <clears throat> doing his shit. He asked 6 9 what, what was the... and um. He said it, and, you know, he went to the zone doing his thing. It was very natural. Like, he did what Kodak knows how to do. Kodak's been pushing this killing the rats movement. 
Yeah, I, I believe Kodak believes in killing any rat that rats on him and his circle. But you can rat on other people. He don't give a fuck. That's their business. Man, let me tell you something. I'm not finna do nothing to it. He ratted on you, you on the street, your people on the street. You tell me, dude ratted on me. The dude right there ratted on you, and you know he ratted on you. And you right here like me, why you want I ain't gonna do nothing. Mm. That's on you to do something. I mean, what, what do you think Kodak's justification for doing the song 6 9 was? You think that it's just, it doesn't Kodak affect him, song he doesn't what? give a fuck? No luck. It's business? <clears throat> or is it out of sheer respect for you? Sheer respect for me. Mm. And some business, because... I put something in front of him that was very, very, you know, well, niggas I, talking his big shit. Amounts, yeah. Niggas talking his man. That's an understatement. It's like a line of the plug sex tape. You know, uh, you know. <clears throat> so I came to him. You know, they wasn't in the studio together when it happened. Mm -hmm. I met six nine before I went to a studio, got instructions from him, and I went up there and we did it. I went up to his studio in his hood, popping on some shit, some gutter shit. Gas station across the street. I mean, everything going on one in the morning. I have my cat with me. Shout out to my boy PK. You know, he run point on all my security down out of Miami Gardens. You know, I had like seven, eight zones with me. And shit, we went up in there. And I, we made it happen. Mm. You think this song's going to be big? Very big. Is there anything to stop Kodak from dissing 6 9 once the song comes out? He spoke his piece on the song. Did really? you hear the song? I didn't hear his verse. His first bars. Is what? Should we take a moment to listen to this? Let's listen to the, the song. Is the full song I can out? clear it. It is out. Right, I can go. clear it. I got some ownership in the zone. Why well, I can clear it? There ain't no problem. Put it up. Just went to That's promo. Here we go. It's called Shaka Laka. Shaka Laka. This is my first time hearing it in full. If you see the cops, nigga, shh, don't make it hot. Nigga, how you move your bitch to a snitch? I'm that was a little 16, huh? Twelve. Kind of short. Twelve. Twelve. The ladies at the end. Now. What, this, this girl's going to spit a verse too? <clears throat> She's very big in Latin America. Is she? She so probably got more followers than you and everybody. And who everybody lost else. their bitch to a snitch? She's talking about this girl who's on the song. That's Ann Wells' ex-girl. Ann Wells' ex. That's now 6 ix girl. Really? Yeah. So that's why they have beef or they already had beef and then 6 ix 9 took her? Well, 6 9 called Ann Wells in Miami and had a conversation with him. Then nothing happened, so... Okay. You know, I don't know how he ended up with his girl, but he got her. He didn't brought her Rolls Royce, motherfucking G Wagons, and he didn't spend about two, three million on the girl in the last month. That's an interesting decision. Yeah, she's uh, very big in Latin world. You think 6ix9ine asked Kodak to have that be one of his bars because he was trying to illustrate this point that he took her? 6ix9ine wasn't there. When, when I, he recorded it? When he recorded it. Okay. Kodak just going off his. You know what he wanted to say. It did sound pretty good. Yeah, I could see it going places. Yeah, it'll be interesting um, to see how much support it gets. Well, though. you got to remember. Um, well, you got to remember. We don't matter. Right. No, the but kids, I mean support from the playlist, the, the you know the Spotify's. Yeah, the, we, it don't. As long as it's going to a main page, it don't matter. Right. It don't matter. You, YouTube main page, Spotify. You think Six Nine and Kodak Spotify's are friends like, now? You think they're gonna be kicking it? They live in the same city. No, roughly? I don't think they're friends. I just think they have a mutual respect when it comes to business. Okay. You know, Kodak, it was business with him. Right. He laid the verse with me. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? I brought him his bag. Right. So, you know, at the end of the day, it was whack quarterback in the situation. I've seen Kodak getting some hate for it, but I've it, it was probably like less hate than I expected and way less hate than it would have been two years ago. Yeah, because it's been massaged. Yeah. Gun is out streaming with yeah. one song, Thugger's whole album. Yeah. The people are speaking. In about two more years, see, over the last 15 years, it's been like a 60-40 thing for the streets when it comes to the business of music. They've been depending on the streets to bring it back to the building. Mm -hmm. The building got to get caught up in street politics and all this. Next two years, it's going to go 80-20 street uh, building. 20 streets going to be 20 to where nobody gives a fuck about street cred, nobody gives a fuck about if you a snitch, if you got music or record that the fans are catered to. But you're that's a person who's anti-snitch, and you seem like you're kind of reveling in this change to the industry um, that people like Boosie are extremely upset no, I'm about. Not, I'm not, I'm gonna be real. I'm anti-snitch when it comes to me and my circle, uh -huh. right? But 70% of the people I do business with will tell. 
Right. Well, you don't do business don't do, with that many gang members at this point in your life. Very, right? The gang members I do business with are people that I got passports. Right. And I and I find them jobs and plays, legal plays. Uh-huh. A requirement to fuck with me is, for one, have a job. Mm-hmm. Two, we're going to fix your credit. And within two years, show me some good faith towards buying a home, whatever you short, I'm going to fill in the blanks. I'm taking my homies overseas. We ain't selling no weed, no cocaine. We ain't out here robbing nothing. That ain't the homies I want around me. Right. And if you are doing that, you want to get away from that, but you just don't have a way out because you in that hamster circle, then you could come holler at me and we could try to find you a way out. Right. I'm all for um, you being in a position where you can't be snitched on. What Boosie say? Suck a dick for thirty million. Uh, Saying Kodak would suck a dick Kodak for thirty million. Kodak said he finna go at Boosie ass. Really? The shit Kodak was telling me. He said set me up for um, what's that shit down there? Uh, drink champs. I called Noy this morning. Told him Kodak want to come down there. Noy said he gonna set it up. Why, why can't I get those kind of plays? Well, he over there. But if he come out here, right. he should be coming out here next week. We do it. Wow, that's going to be insane. He said he's going to come out here next week. If I get the time and date, we might have to just set it up. You got to write Nori some questions. I don't know if Nori knows what to ask him. <clears throat> he ain't giving a fuck. The shit Kodak was telling me was real. About what? Just about what shit Boosie about Boosie? Say. About Boosie specifically, though? Yeah, I fuck with Boosie. You know, me and Boosie understand it. Um, but, yeah, he said some real shit. Want me to repeat something he said? Sure, yeah. He said, shit. Whack, I done been to jail. Shit. I was in jail. This nigga went to jail, and the first 24 hours, he had his Rolls Royce truck up for sale. He said, maybe that nigga need to go do a verse. That would, that would. Need to find himself said. a snitch. He said, maybe he need to go do a verse with somebody. I don't know, but I will say this. Anybody, um, and I, I hope Boosie call me. Call me Boosie, because we want to talk to you. You know, we always had to understand his love, but. To say Yak ain't who he is because he did some business, right? It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, having this much time gone past with the six nine thing and having so many more rappers get exposed for snitching, it does seem like way less of a big deal than because I would have thought it was. He went at Ti and Boosie. Niggas got work on Ti, and you apologize. But they ended up having a conversation, and I, think I don't give a fuck what they know. Ti, they say ran into him. I think Ti convinced Boosie that he didn't. Didn't Ti run into Boosie at the airport? Yes. Boosie, Pa Ru, you were supposed to get off. Once he called Ti snitch, Boosie, Boosie, my nigga, don't get it fucked up. I'm a Boosie fan, and I respect him as a man. But once Boosie, you called that man a snitch, mm-hmm. right? You got to keep that same energy when you run into him. But you call him a snitch. Can't you just ignore him and just not have anything to do with him? You call a nigga a snitch and you sing. Get off. Got to just insta. You initiated it already. Right. But why can't you just ignore him? I mean, the conversation to me seems like it's probably a better option. What I'm saying is, but watch this. I said it to say this. I'm sure Boosie had his reasons. Right. And Boosie, because you had your reasons, and me and you both know what I'm saying is real. And I speak out of no malice because I fuck with Boosie genuinely. Mm -hmm. It's my nigga, right? Love him, I'm a fan and all that, and respect him as a man. But just like you had your reasons for not doing what the code says you're supposed to do, Mm -hmm. you got to give Yak the benefit of the doubt for, for doing what he did. In your mind, would this be like an almost identical situation to Kodak giving a verse to a gay rapper for money? No, what's wrong with doing business with a gay rapper? I'm just saying that I assume Kodak Shout out probably... To Nas X, my nigga, he got fans. Kodak's probably not a Hold huge on, fan of gay that, people, bro. right? Because Nas X's um, management team is my family. Right. Are you they? know what I'm saying? His whole management team is my family. They know who they are. They real low-key people. Love always, brother. Appreciate the dinner with you and the family last time I came out. But a gay rapper is just a rapper that's gay. What does that have to do with his his talent or his skills? Oh, let's go a more extreme example. Would you, If Kodak was your artist, would you support him doing a feature for millions of dollars for I have no problem the with Taliban? It. 
I don't have no problem with whatever my audience They bombed to do. the World Trade Center. They killed 3,000 Americans. That's on the United States of America, bro. Deal with it. I would say it's more on the people who perpetrated the Taliban acts. is the Taliban. As far as I know, Bin Laden dead. Well, now, yeah. What are we talking about now? Well, we had to hunt him down. What are we talking about now? I'm trying to think of a better example. Would you would you support Kodak doing a verse for Vladimir Putin? You want to see a contract I got with a meeting I arranged with Vladimir Putin? I would love you want, to know you more want to about see? that. Are we you, going to Russia? Wait, do you want? You do know I had Kanye West lined up to meet with Vladimir Putin. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. They was going to release the girl to Ye. Yeah, did the government get in the way of that? The U.S. No, Ye got busy and <laughs> too busy. The girl, for that. listen, <laughs> listen. The girl would have been out two weeks earlier. Right. If Ye would have went. Right. I got the contracts in every day. Now that some time has gone by, though, don't yeah. you agree that they could have just kept her and we probably would be better off as a country? I'm not going to say that because that's somebody's daughter. Yeah. And, you know, I got a daughter and shit. I wouldn't give a fuck what it was. I would want somebody to do that. Um, to me, you do the crime, you do the time. You know? She didn't do nothing. She, got she had a weed some... pen. Come on, bro. I got a weed pen right now, but I ain't going to Russia with it. Or Dubai. Yo, ain't give your ass 10 years. She got out. I ain't seen the WNBA do any numbers since. Nobody's talking about the WNBA. Everybody's forgot about it right away. That's the world we live in. Mm. If you got some bullshit going on with you that's negative, give it a couple of weeks. The first bad thing that happens, they'll forget about you. Do you think this will be a, an actual, like, real negative to Kodak's career? Or do you think that nobody Definitely will really not. care? Let me I don't tell think anybody's going to care, I'm going to be honest. Six, nine over the last six months has crossed back over in Latin America. Right. Done four or five big songs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Damn near wife, this young lady, that's huge. Her whole verse is Spanish, right? Went down to Mexico City where the cartel put a mural of his face up with all the kids, right? The so, cartel did? A mural of 6 ix 9 face? Mexico City. Ain't nothing happened out there unless they say it. Wow. And he went down there and, with the kids and did the shit. What's going to happen now? Latin America don't really know about Kodak. He's about to increase all his streams across the board, old songs and new, by 20 or 30% based on a brand new Latin fan base he just tapped into. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. Doesn't he have enough money? People, I feel like I'm Nobody having the same argument. Money. This is the same conversation that everybody keeps having Nobody with me about the money. sex tape. Is like, don't you have enough money? Why'd you have to do that? And it's like, well, yeah, I wanted more money. Well, it's something you wanted to do, or and cheating. it generates you some, some money. Yeah, I made some money too, but she made I mean, a you, lot of money. You, um, listen, I told you, mm. you went and did that shit. I'm not complaining. I want to see in the next three years where this is at. My relationship, definitely. Because as we'll be a man. Right. You're not going to tell me. Oh, I'm chilling. No, you're not. You you think I'm fucked up and I'm not admitting it? 30%. 30% fucked up? 30%. I'm going to give you 0.03%. Bro, I'm the chilling. fact that some shit happened that you requested didn't happen. Nigga, he came in your wife. I did not request that that didn't happen. Bullshit. Listen, it's, it's too much. I can't fact, explain no, it. I can't explain it. That. Hold on, bro. <laughs> And then the fact that you know that your woman really genuinely overly got into it. When she when they say she put her fingers in her pussy and came out with his cum and tasted it, you knew as a man that's a little too far. Yo, what's going on with A B? Uh That's my brother. He wants a piece. He's a broke boy. He's trying to he's trying to get five thousand dollars for an interview. Cause okay, so his AB team ain't broke. His team hits up my team and That's says brother. that they want to do that he wants to do an interview. He'll do an interview tomorrow. I'm I'm on it. I'm like, okay, cool. Got my team writing questions. I'm watching the fucking documentary about this motherfucker. I'm getting ready for it. She says they want five thousand. I said five thousand. That ain't AB. That's dying still. for five thousand. No, no, no. But listen, I offered a smaller amount. AB, I offered a smaller amount to cover travel. They said, no, he needs 5000 Boom. It was, the whole thing got canceled because of that. That ain't A.B. Uh, I think it probably was. I'm going to call A.B. That's my partner. Call him right now. Do it. You got to remember, you know my charger I be in? I swear to God, me, A.B., and Kanye rode around all day in uh -huh. the charger together, right? Right. That's my home, well, right? Uh, yeah, apparently, he needs $5,000 very badly. No, he don't. <laughs> A.B. needed $5,000. we will give it to him. You ain't going to doubt him like that. He was trying to get it from me. I'm going to call A.B. A.B., I need you on the show, bro. That's it. Let's Ooh. go. 
he ain't finna do that. I did appreciate him doing that though, because that felt like the day where it was gonna finally stop being so viral. But it's like every day there's just something happening. Now I feel like today is maybe the day where it stops being so viral. But that day he tweeted that and boom, I got TMZ pulling up. Everybody wanna talk about it, yada yada. So he did help extend the the storyline for an extra day or two right there. A B good dude. Funny dude. I don't know nothing about him, I'll be honest. Funny dude, he's a good dude. Funny dude. Yeah. Good dude, though. I'll smack the but, shit out of him. Oh, AB will beat your ass. Yeah, he's a professional athlete. probably would, huh? No, he, he a professional nigga. Well, I have a nunchuck. That's cool, but AB ain't Does it have to be plural? Around. Nunchucks? Well, you know, we know to make we made ours out of broomsticks. I also don't have them. And the choke chain from a dog them. collar and two nails. I'm not going to put them on a dog You want to get out with AB? No, nah, that shit nah, is going viral. I would rather just argue with him on the podcast. Yeah, well, we're going we gonna to get him in. I don't know. I mean, my girl bad, so he wants a piece. I understand, you know. Yeah, watch it. He might have had other chicks who look exactly like her, but I think he's he's probably turned on by this whole, you know, cuck thing. This whole he wants to be the big black guy in the room. They while Adam twenty two hey, cries on the couch. Can we flick the button right there so I don't have to listen to that ding oh. ding? Hey, they will Clubhouse watch it. guy. Huh? They watch it. We gotta take his phone before we do this. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. man, well listen, man. We just being organic and natural on this shit. I hit, I hit my bro like, yo, Adam talking that shit. Mm -hmm. So can he... You talk to AB about it? No, I just seen it. I want oh, to talk okay. to you first. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I would like to podcast with him. I'm just not going to give him five grand. Yeah, AB ain't tripping on 5,000. That was their mother diggers. I don't know. That his, wasn't his team seemed very serious about it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've just kind of, you know, everybody had to get their jokes off. It is what There's it is. There's no jokes, bro. I'm That's rolling with it. What? You and your feelings, bro. Uh, Why did you say that he's uh, blackballed from having part two? That was Jason Love. That's who we talking about. Right, yeah. Why, why I say he's blacklisted? Because he was talking too spicy on the interview. What did he say wrong? Uh, he was just being a little bit too much of like the downing my, my penis power. He was like, you know, it's just the way he was talking you about You the it. one said that the man was whatever. You complimented his shit. You, you said the dude's like a something dude and whatever. A something dude? You said about his. He's a big guy. Yeah, you I'll, said that. I'll, I'll be real with you. It kind of fucked shit up for me and my girl because beforehand he seemed like a good participant in all this, and we even watched the tape together. We were kind of turned on by it. We had been fucking like crazy. And then that whole thing happened with him speaking out of turn about me, and she was so bummed about it that she said she can't even like watch the tape, and I don't want to watch it. So now it's like we got to we gotta fast forward past that I shit because he, he kind of ruined it. She's only doing that because you start crying. I was not crying. Nigga, she received orgasms. No, she no. She climaxed. Who told what the you fuck that? What you mean that now was she's no. bummed out about it? I'm going to have to consult the record books now. You are alleging that there was an orgasm. She telling you she didn't come? That's how you know she did. I love that people like you think everything in porn is real. She ate, he ate her pussy, the bitches told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't watch it? No, I don't watch war fights. Mm, maybe maybe Snoopy nah, Badass women, is right about women you. Women, I, don't I had Snoopy Badass in here yesterday. He had a couple of allegations about you. Who? He thinks you're a little light in the loafers. A dude that's never seen me? Mm. Did you ask him the questions? He, <laughs> a little bit. I was going to call did you, but... Did he get but... his ass? Hey, did he, they whooped his ass. Yeah, and you were the one who leaked the footage of him running the four fades, right? Or, or you... No, you ra you got him in trouble with Snoop by raising the issue of the snitch allegation, no, right? No, no. Or you got him beat up by the Pyrus, right? No. I text Snoop. I can show you the text messages. Uh -huh. And warn Snoop, don't sign the nigga. He's a rat. And I sent him the paper. Hater. No, I know, nigga. That's Snoop, my party. Nigga, that's that's what we Snoop, call hating. Nigga. Fuck you mean? Nigga, Snoop don't know what's going on? Okay, when it comes to his ass whooping, uh -huh. He disrespected the homies. I let them hear what he said out of his own mouth. He was hating on the little girl. You know the little girl, Asia? No. She's from Compton, like uh, Park Village. He was hating on her? He Listen, I went and reposted her shit. Okay. I see a young chick, and they tell me that her dad is a street dude, and she's trying to rap. Uh -huh. So I simply just reposted it. Snoopy, I don't know how he got my phone number, one day just called me. Uh-huh. Hey, homie, don't hang up. This Snoopy badass. Who? I'm from Paru, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, what you want? Man, I just want a little advice of the music game. So I said, what's your IG? I go to IG. So I guess he is. So I was just giving him advice. Mm -hmm. 
He's recording. I don't know it, but I don't give a fuck. Whatever I say once, I'm going to say twice. Right? I'm just giving. I'm like, look, bro, like the Jerry Crow shit, it appeals to the streets, but the kids ain't going to rock. You know, I'm just giving him advice. I'm like, look, game is going to rep comp and they're going to do all that. Did you tell him to wear tighter clothes? No, I told him to come out of the khakis and wear <laughs> shit more current. He was making it sound super gay. Like, I don't know why, why Wack was telling me to wear tighter clothes. I told clothes. him, <laughs> I'm looking at his Instagram. Right. Right? You do dress like he's from the 90s. He's but those, asking yeah, yeah. me, right? But you got a fucking Somebody got to keep that vibe alive, no, right? you got a fucking Jerry Curl in a khaki suit. Mm. He's asking me about what do I see wrong with, the, what, with him making an industry today. Mm -hmm. I haven't even got to his lyrics. I can't tell you no lyrics of none of his songs, right? I said, for one, the Jerry Curl is not appealing to the kids. Probably true, yeah. Two, the khaki suits, the extra baggy shit. Bro, I said, go look at Game and look at OT Genesis and that's a dude before your era and kind of around your era, mm -hmm. right? You need to get more into what's in style today, mm. right? Of course, there were going to be a, a more tighter fit than you wearing a 33, but you got 38s on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right? That's just the style of the day, right? You know that. Baggy pants are kind of back. You ever watch a skate video? This is two and a half years ago. Good point. Two, yeah. three years ago, right? So I'm giving him my opinion. Why? Because he called my phone and asked me for it. Mm. Right? So he's like, okay. I'm like, look, go get your stylist, bro. Uh, do a photo shoot. I said, bro, give it a try. Put him out there, see the response you get. Mm -hmm. Right? So one day, about two weeks later, I repost Asia. He calls me. He like, yo, bro, why you repost that bitch? I said, what bitch you talking about, homie? Asia, I said, yo, that's a little girl. Don't disrespect her like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a daughter. I'm a dad, right? <clears throat> so um, he says, she from Park Village. And I said, yo, bro, I don't give a fuck where she from. You know, I say the homie say he know her daddy and they solid. So, you know, the certain homie I mentioned, you know, he from a certain neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So he say, yeah, them niggas is, you know, crip lovers. I say, homie, watch your mouth. When nigga whooped, I click over and call the homie. Now, what you say? I said, them niggas from Whoopty Whoop is Whoopty Whoop lovers. They heard it. The homie happened to be over there with 15, 20 of his little homies. So you put him on the call but didn't tell him that you were adding no, this No, I clip? told him. Right. Oh, okay. And he, and he... Because the neighborhood he talking about ain't my neighborhood. Okay. But it's a nigga at this time was like, we very close. Uh-huh. So... Instead of it coming out of my mouth, what a nigga said, and he going back lying, right, saying I didn't say it, I clicked over. The homie on the jack that's from that neighborhood. Now, nigga, repeat what you just said. He said it. They heard him. They went over there to his block, told his homies. He got to pull up, and they brought him over there, and they ran him. And after they got through running him, his homies beat him half to death and told him he can't come back. I will be honest, he had a whole shitload of roosters with him when he came in here. Not from that neighborhood. cock a doodle do. I don't know. Not there was from a lot that of neighborhood. He didn't put like a know. red and blue something on him. They said, I don't know. Yeah, he what's didn't going have on. that this time. He was all um, wearing all red when he came you in. You know, but it's a few homies over there. That, you know? that clip of him talking about that is not going to come out for a few days. So me asking you about a clip that is not even out yet is kind of weird, but. Fuck all It's going to happen. But this is the thing. Yeah. I've never met this man a day in my life. Right. See these clout chasing weirdos? You paying attention to me and I'm not paying attention. You call my phone. Mm -hmm. So him telling you, Wack told me to wear tighter clothes. I told you, come out of them motherfucking khaki suits. Right. Get rid of that jerry curl and, you know, watch what's going on. You got to appeal to the audience. They not. Mm -hmm. These kids ain't fucking with that. Yeah. Khakis and chucks and shit. <laughs> and then when we look at him. We think about the homie B. Braves. We like this nigga trying to imitate B. Braves. Okay. From back in the day, right? So I just gave you my advice. You could take it or not take it. I said, look, if you go look at game shit, game dresses within the style of fashion today. Right. You don't wear nothing gay and fucking skinny jeans, but it's, you know, it's of today. In order for LA rappers to succeed, they have to kind of like erase the G Funk influence to some extent. The certain things with the the clothing, definitely the Jerry curl. Who's the, on, the hottest shit that came out of LA in recent memory besides Draco, rest in peace, was Shoreline Mafia. 
when you listen to Shoreline Mafia, there's like almost nothing that really indicated that they were from L.A., which is probably why they did so well and why a lot of people were fucking with them outside of L.A. Fuck you. Blueface <laughs> or Tatiana movement. That was before Fuck Shoreline. Here. Fuck out of here, bro. And Blueface, listen, he had a, a kind of flat top deal. Yeah, but Blueface. He, he, he didn't wear khakis. He and, had an innovative new form of gangbanging. No, he had a different no, style. No, no, no. It was Again, fresh. It was exciting. He had style. Yeah. This nigga is in 1989. Yeah. He wearing shit. I wore in 89.90. But I'm going to be real. Blueface is so cool. He has an inherent coolness to him. That's the fuck he want to so, do. Sometimes it makes people it forget because they've been so consumed with him as this like tabloid superstar. Yeah, but yeah, he yeah. has like an inherent coolness that he could be khaki suited out like 90% never. of the time. And I think the people He's would still He's never going to do that. He's a slick That's guy. not relevant today. I've been trying to link with Blueface. Me and you and Blueface got to go to the club with with the ladies. We can do that. Because I've been texting Blueface about it, but I've started to slowly realize, like, me and him are not going to really end up on the same page to link up. I feel like you got to be the glue between us. We pause. can do that. We can do that. Okay. Why you be saying pause? How old are you, bro? I'm just real worried about coming off gay. Say what you mean <laughs> and mean what you say. Like, my mind don't think like that. What I say... I'm 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 in conscious of what we're talking about. Well, you know who I learned that from? Who that? Killer Cam, Killer Cam, Cam, Killer. Killer Cam, Cam from what? Cameron, the most gangsterous York, man bro. from my generation. Like, Nobody was harder than Cam. Yo, listen, he and thinking, he he damn near invented pause. That's some New York shit. We on the I'm West, saying. bro. I don't, I say what I mean, mean what I say. If your mind is thinking fucked up like that, then you gay and you weird. L A L A got image problems. Maybe if they were pausing shit a little bit what more. What you mean? Uh, you know, I'm saying, like, there's not a lot of hot street rappers coming out of L.A. these days. So you saying Roddy Riches, the Kendrick Lamars? Not really what I would call street rappers, even though they are from where what they're from. Mean? I mean, Kendrick went in a very different direction. Roddy Rich, he don't talk about that kind of shit in his music. He went, he went in Ooh. a very different direction. Roddy don't talk about street shit in his music? You ever hear him talk about where he's from in his music? Yeah. Maybe you don't hear what you're saying. Raleigh Maybe Bushman. I haven't just. He from Park this. Village. Conference. I think it's been a while. That's where he's from. He got out, got put on. Shout out to Bird and the team over there. Did his shit. But he doesn't make his music he sound LA centric. He's not supposed to. We don't want him to. But that's what I'm saying. We want him to be universal. But all these Bronx kids, all these Chicago kids, you can't listen to them for two seconds without knowing where they're from. Who? The the Dirks, the Vaughns, the, you know, you want to go to New York, you want to go to Pop Smoke. Ain't new. I know, but I'm saying like Dirk is the face years of in the game? Chicago street rap. And when you want to talk about the face of L.A. street rap, it's been dry for a minute. Possibly a couple decades. You out, you out your goddamn mind. You know I'm telling the truth. It's hard for you to even find L.A. street rappers to sign, right? It's, it's kind of, it's been weak. They got to they gotta work on You know on why? It. Why? Because we teach them not to focus on just the streets. Yeah. Put yourself in a box. But nobody wants to hear you a bunch of love songs no jumper and no more. booty shaking records. You ain't even doing no jumper, the little set, set you used to do. What's Butter sets? Street Rappers. Oh, no, no. We're doing all kinds of street rapper interviews. No, There's just not the a interview. lot of hot shit coming out of LA. What about the shows you used to do? Why you ain't doing the shows no more? What shows? You used to do a show, a concert, a little series. Oh, yeah, we did that. Yeah. When the last time you did that? 2019, 2018. There's no support for them. No, but so even then, who, who did we have on the shit? We did have, like, Blueface, Blue Chief Keith. Well, it's Savvy not like we were putting there. on, like, tiny-ass artists. We're going to put artists who actually have a fan base. In L.A., that would be kind of hard to come by right now because the street rap scene in L.A. is kind of at a low. Give me 90 days on Young Magnificent. Remember that name. Okay. 90 days. But, um... <laughs> Shout out Young Magnificent. I don't want to seem like a hater. Third, I'm third, rooting for him. Savvy Third making noise. They just ain't been doing what they're supposed to be doing. Savvy Third making noise. You've been trying to push him for hella years now. No, I haven't pushed him in three years. Okay. Me and Birdman been letting him do what he got to do. He's still on contract with us. Well, you were working with him like 20 years. He's still contracted to us. Savvy Third still cash money West. Yeah, no, he's dope. Shut we just Savvy. let him do what he want to do. When he's ready to get to it, we get to it. We don't put niggas in, in handcuffs over there. We don't do that. He did Snow Jumper at one point. I think uh, no, you had certain people had to times. talk to him, clean it up. He'd been up here a couple times. Yeah, yeah. I interviewed him one time. Oh. What did he say about No Jumper? I think he said everybody at No Jumper is bitches. But then I didn't get involved. It was the other guys who were here who I think oh. spoke to him about it. And I think he cleaned it up. I don't really get a fuck, honestly. Been mad. Shout out to my nigga Blue, a big fave from Insane. I'm in a new mental capacity at this I point. I bet the fuck you are. I'm offending everybody. I don't give a fuck. I bet the fuck you are. What? Because you, like, bro, I just, 
I've you, been worried about you, brother. <laughs> Why are you worried about me? I'm great. I'm laughing all the way to the bank, my friend. So how much has it generated? No comment. Roundabout. Can't do it. At least seven figures yet? Of course. Ain't bad. No, 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 no. And she's... We're going to call you Goldie. Greatest selling OnlyFans scene of all time. We're going to call you Goldie. Most money anyone has ever made on OnlyFans. But does she respect why that is? I, I want to see if she's going to keep it real. Because some of these women, bro, like, they man, like, gives them a, um, a lane. And because of they man, people, you know, gravitate to them. Right. Right? They Shit happens for them in six months that would have took six years. And then because it starts to moving, yeah. right, they start to forget and they start thinking they you. We're on the same page. So I'm asking you that she acknowledge that 85% of her success comes from this fucking platform in that face. She knows what's going on. Yes or no, bro? She knows. If if there we go. If you were if privy, she does, shout out to if her. If you were privy to all the inner workings of my relationship, you would be no, no, wowed by what that. a good person she is. We're not talking about that. I'm just, I'm just telling you that people think that women she's a get shady to bitch. Head, bro. Like a lot of these bitches out here, my girl, morally, you might get it twisted because you see the porn thing, whatever. My girl no, no, is no, 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 an amazing person. I'm gonna tell you why I don't think she's shady because of that. Because you're turned on by her. You saw her the other no. day in a tight dress and you no. all worked up. No, I didn't get all worked up. She, that's your bill. I didn't even look at her like in that manner. Saw you manner. rubbing your Jason Love through your pants. I didn't even look at her in that manner. I can't. You ready to make I Jason Love I can't look at her. your... Listen, <laughs> this is why I won't watch the sex tape. Because I can't watch the sex tape and then sit here with you, right? And knowing that I'm seeing your wife. This ain't no... It's your wife, the children's mother, right? Yeah. Right? We can talk about the situation what people has told me about it, uh -huh. right? But I won't watch that because every time I see her, I want to see Adam's wife. Okay. And and creator is that. I mean, honest, I'm kind of glad you haven't watched it because it feels like then you might never stop talking about it. So maybe this is a no. I ain't option. watching this shit. <laughs> but but what I'm saying is that, um, I respect the fact that she still honors, right, the platform that it it grew from. Hmm. A lot of these women, bro, they they stay like they forget. Bro. That would be pretty gangster if she was just out in a couple months. Bro, a lot of them forget. Hmm, maybe I should push her to the limit. Hmm. Oh, that prenup is all of a sudden working in my favor now that she just hit that lick. Y'all signed a prenup? Yeah. That's crazy. And it's kind of like all about who's making the most money at That's a certain nuts. point. Yeah. Nah, you got prenups got to have a guarantee. Nah, but it's like, well, I won't get into it. But it, it, who's who's making the most money matters in terms of how the prenup would play out. So maybe right now is my time to be like, look how much money you're making, bitch. Give me half of it. She making more money than you? This month. But you know when they go Seems back Seems like over, a safe bet. But no, y'all just got married, so it might work for you. Actually, yeah, you're right. We're, yeah. We're, yeah, we're too close to getting married anyway. If we got, got divorced married. right now, it wouldn't even matter. It would be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. They were just... Yeah, wise. Yeah. But I mean, y'all good people. I think y'all working. I think y'all still would be friends. We're doing great. We're sitting in bed reading memes together, laughing. Look at this TikTok. Ha -ha, look what but they said about But that's why me. I don't look at her. I want to get back to that thought. As like nothing ratchet, because... This is the understanding that you guys both have. Mm -hmm. And I tell people, hey, look, man, you doing shit with your woman or whatever that the next motherfucker may not agree with. Right. Right? So I don't look at her like that because this is the understanding y'all have. So the I don't see her like that. The spoils go to the person who's willing to do the thing that is so unthinkable that the rest of the world can't help but stop and watch. I was watching a YouTuber I ain't yesterday. Watching it, bro. No, not literally watch. But I was watching a YouTuber yesterday, and he said, he, he kind of put it in, in perspective for me. He said, "Remember that submarine thing from like a couple weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Everybody paid attention to that for like five days, and that was like the biggest story in the country. The me and Lena thing, realistically, has been like damn near the biggest Two story weeks. for like a month. Two three weeks, it which is." Moment. Kind of unbelievable. And honestly... Y'all milked the fuck out of that. Yeah, now it's kind of like, oh, like, there's not really that much that we could do. Like, there's more extreme shit that we could do sexually, which we definitely will do as time goes by. But it is kind of like, oh, that that right there was the trump card. That's what... Like, I'm gonna it, tell it can't you, ever be bigger than that. I'm going to tell you what would work. Mm. Netflix series, The Day in the Life of Adam-22. They would never fuck with me. Why not? I'm canceled. What do you mean? 
Yeah, all the chin, all the talk canceled, about me. I mean, I'm, can I do the business? I'm canceled enough that I can't get a Netflix show. Okay, well, sure. can we do it on Zeus? <laughs> I actually just had somebody hit me trying to get me a Zeus show, and I said, hey, if you can give me an offer, I'll Bro, I deal it. directly with the owners. Fuck them people. Okay. We call them when we get off. We go. Let's have a Zeus convo. Yeah, I'll have them come in. My mans just went to a Zeus party the other day, and I was kind of ticked I, off. Like, why didn't I get the invite? I'm trying to be a Zeus guy. You know guy. what? I was out of town. I wish I'd have known I'd have sent you my shit. I want to be a Zoe on Zeus. Look, and we're going to watch Zorro. Straight from the owner. What, this was a party that happened the, the other owner. day. Oh, my God. If you had I'd actually went to my... this, it could have been a movie because the person I'm talking about is something, someone that you do not get along with. Is it? Who was it? No comment. Um, why you don't want to say it? I just don't want to. I be. wouldn't. I wouldn't disrespect my brother's party though. Oh yeah. No, I don't do that. So you see a op in the party, you just stay on the other side, or you just talk. I'm not going to disrespect my my brother's party. Okay. You know you got a thing called the world. Would you disrespect this office? No. If you saw an op. No. We go very out of our way to keep you and your ops away from no, each I other wouldn't. in here. If I seen them, no, I wouldn't. If they became a threat, then I'm gonna do what I gotta do as a man. No, yeah. I'm just but this is your like I wouldn't disrespect you. You know why? It's too much outside. And if it was that serious with him, I would have already found him outside. Mm -hmm. So why wait till I get in here to disrespect somebody I'm doing business with? So what are the odds of us doing a podcast episode in which you talk it out slash yell it out with an op on camera? And That's you? not going to happen. No. You because if it's that serious. Too prearranged. You couldn't do the content angle. No, if angle. it's that serious, it's that serious. But I wouldn't like, I, like, they may be coming up here to get a check or just, I don't know. And I'm not going to walk in and then do that. This is disrespecting your place of business. But what about just the conversation on camera? I mean, it's something that's not worth counting. We're not past that. I don't know what you're talking about, but some shit we pass. Mm. Okay. You talking about your little brother, the little weird one accusing me of leaking sex tapes I never knew nothing about? No comment. See, why you be doing busted <laughs> shit like that? Because you just called him a weird guy. I, don't, I, can't, I can't say, yeah, him. Bro. That's like me calling him weird. He's mad because the chick... Came on Clubhouse. I don't know this lady. All right. You watching the Crib Max sex tape, though? No, I didn't even know one exists. It's out there. Yeah, I didn't know that shit exists. It's hot. I asked her. I'm like, what the fuck is she talking about? I, he like, this motherfucker cap. This but you were so involved in the Lele Cakes drama, but then you didn't actually watch their sex tape that leaked? No, I, I don't know. She came to my floor. I'll send you a link. I, I got to know her on the floor, and then my boys from Insane, um... Um, DW Flame two three, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Um, my man two three, they you know they they knew about he disrespected their neighborhood, so he they wanted to talk to the young lady. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I put them online. They went over here, hung out with her. Did well, let me ask you this: I want to ask you about one of the hottest topics in the Los Angeles street what scene up? in recent memory: the O three Greedo snitching allegations. I'm sure you've been paying attention to this. I, I'm hearing about it. Uh huh. But I don't know. I haven't did the paperwork research. I knew about it like a year ago. Really? Yeah. Who told you? Somebody real close to him told me. Right. For, former. Uh, former good friend. Probably somebody, talking about the same person. No, right? somebody out the neighborhood told me. Yeah. But I hadn't seen no paperwork. They're saying this paperwork. I haven't really taken the time to like dig into it. The paperwork is basically. I just, met O Three uh, Greedo maybe once or twice when he was real humble. He, mm -hmm. uh, my boy Runchy. When he was working him and, and put him in front of everybody, brought him to a few game concerts. But, like, I really don't know him. Um, but I haven't really – I don't even know what he's supposed to toll on. Well, you know what his charge was that he got locked up for the, the, the bid was? I don't know. Was it drugs? Or yeah, drugs he was driving or? to Texas with two stolen guns and, like, four pounds of meth. The cops pull him over with his homie. And then the in the police report, it has a bunch of quotes of things that he allegedly said. Like, he allegedly told the cops, like, I just got paid $3,000 to do this. I don't know what's in the car. So people are looking at that like, what the fuck? That's basically you putting it on your homie. He's saying that he didn't say that. Um, oh, no, no, no. If he said that, he said it. it's in a report. But there's no video footage of it, apparently. So what you mean? He's saying that it didn't get said. He's saying that the cops wrote they it down, but he didn't an, actually an say it. They said interrogation? No, in, like within the actual cop car. They I should think. have footage. Or maybe in his own car. Yeah, They and, would have audio. And well, people wait. are trying to get the footage right if now. If he was out of the car, they definitely have audio. That's how I beat my Texas case. Really? Texas has audio and video. Yeah, I don't know. I'm yeah. not sure if they're going to be able to actually get hard proof of it or not. Now, um, you saying the officer wrote this? 
I believe, yeah. He's not basing it on a recording. He's saying it from what he claims so that he witnessed. So it's a possibility if the officer wrote it, he could have lied. Yeah. Now, was there any tape conversation? In, like, interrogation room? I don't believe so. So, yeah, in this type of situations, they usually t- recording, and then because if it would have went to trial, they got to match what he wrote to the recording. Uh-huh. So if there's no recording, which I don't know if it is or isn't, I'm agreeing to this to this situation, then fuck what the officer wrote. Now, if they tell me they have a written statement from O.T. Greedo, Greedo and in these documents, this statement with his handwriting no, the signature no is there, no. that's another thing. But me personally, I'm not riding on what the officer wrote. Worst case scenario is that Greedo made a couple of offhand remarks while he was being arrested. That Like what? Like that thing about I got paid three thousand dollars to do this. I'm a rapper, uh, you know. He's, he well, he, alleg- he allegedly said to to his boy, "We fucked up," and the cop heard it. Which that is another thing people are looking at. Like, why would you say that? That's that's incriminating. How did the cop hear that? I I, I might be fucking up details, but I think it was in the cop car. But I'm not 100 percent sure. So and what, this this was many years ago. That so he got what caught. did the uh, his Cody say? His Cody was here saying that he doesn't believe that Greedo snitched. He also had a whole shitload of grapes with him in here, all who are riding with him. But then you have people that he used to be cool with who are the ones pushing this whole anti Greedo campaign. Like who? Uh, you know, the the person, you know, Gooch? Uh, I don't know him. I know of him. Who right. else you talking he, about? He, I don't know who else, but he's Gooch is kind of like the main one who I think is. No, nah, I only deal with Runchy. Okay. And Runchy is the one that day one, I don't give a fuck what nobody say, was running around with Greedo, bringing Greedo to niggas' studios, getting Greedo in places that he wouldn't have got in at that time. And, um, you know, Runchy's been very calm. Mm. He's a businessman. He's he a real Grape Street. But he's been very calm, and he's a businessman. And I really urge Greedo to, you know, get that business right. Mm. Because if he ain't speaking, then it ain't really serious yet. And so Greedo's... Not on good terms with him, or no? It was just some, I ain't saying that. It was just some business shit that needed to be worked out, and it probably wasn't because Greedo was incarcerated. Yeah. And I believe Greedo um, knows what Runchy did for him, and I think he's gonna work it out. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going on what a cop wrote. Right. First of all, if they got a recording or if they got written statements from Greedo, yeah, that's something else. I think people have requests in trying to get that, but I'm not sure that they still exist. Did he, well, no, bullshit, because these cops is all for exposing these rappers now. Yeah. Over the last couple months, interrogation room, um, body cams. Oh, yeah. Shit's been coming out, and this is intentional. Right. So let's talk about that. Did you see the clip of King Von? Definitely. Basically, for the people people who don't know what I'm talking about, King Von was about to be put in a dorm within the jail, and uh, it was apparently an op dorm. There's a bunch of people he had problems with in there. So he tells the cops that he needs to go to PC or or, or be put in a separate dorm because he is gay. No. He said he'll need to go to PC. My boy Beast and Dangerous Minds on the 100 side of Clubhouse ran a room. Go to them replays. He did the whole shit. Like, they went over it. And... You know, I had some back and forth with somebody did to me, my man Kiddo, mm. right? And um, Kiddo called me, and he was trying to break down the politics of Cook County Jail or whatever. And he was saying people do that to try to get to another right. area, right? I don't think anyone actually thinks that Vaughn was gay. And I'm telling, I don't know nothing about that. Right. What I'm keying in is I need to go PC. And I'm telling Kiddo, Kiddo, listen, I hear you, Neff, because I respect you. Right, but you young niggas can't rewrite these rules. Mm. This shit was scripted with me before me, right? There's a way you get off a floor or get to a floor, and it's never acceptable to tell an officer you want to go PC. Mm-hmm. You got to get off, and you got to keep getting off 
until you get to where, whether you get off on the inmate, whether you get off on the police, it's probably going to be some whole time. You might catch some time. But if it's that serious for you to get somewhere, you do what you got to do. So you're saying that if Vaughn knew that there were five guys in there who all had pokers ready to stab his ass. As soon that, as he walked in he the door. he might literally be dead in five minutes if he walked in listen, there. He still has to go in to uphold nigga, the street code. you talking to a real power rule. I'm just trying to figure listen, out the rules. Where it was not common, right? But we wasn't in style. You know how many motherfucking times I had to, my comrades before me had to, niggas got on county bus, nigga out of 50 inmates, right? It's one or two bloods and we apart from each other. Or you walking through 9,500 and they just did a crip sweep and you the only one in there, right? It's never an option to go tell the police. You know how many times I've been at the gate where they finna take the cuffs off and put me in this holding tank and everything in me in here is the enemy? You got to walk in, first step, get off. That's it. Ain't no, I can't go in here, it's PC. These youngsters think they can rewrite the script of what it is, right? And that's not an option. Kiddo fought me on it. And I respect Kiddo, so I chose not to continue to have the conversation. But Vaughn's a young guy from Chicago. He doesn't know about all the rules that have been Fuck passed you a mother down over the years, lie. right? What? There's a universal rule. Every city, state, and county in the United States of America PC means PC. You do not go PC. Okay, remove the PC thing. Say, There's no removing but it. But say Vaughn had just said, I'm gay, I can't be in that dorm. I'm Try, not trying playing to get like into that a different either. dorm. That, that's not cool either. No, I'm not playing. What if he I'm knew not, he would be dead in five minutes if he went in there? Listen, man, listen. He knew the job was dangerous when he took it. Mm. Don't be doing nothing on the street. You ain't ready to face where you got to go behind them bars. Nigga squabble up, knife up, do what you got to do. Did what he was supposed to do as soon as he took a step in that dorm before the cop got a, a step away, get off. They going to come get you. Obviously, you can't go in there. They going to put you in another dorm. Keep getting off until you get somewhere that you comfortable at. What if he dies in the process? Then, nigga, that's what come with it. It sounds like you want the younger generation to crash out because the rules uh -huh. are so insane no, no. that they would have caused you to crash out. You're somebody who's been out of the prison system for all these years, and now you want to inflict these cruel, arcane fucking philosophies on the younger generation, even though they're not even from the same state as you. Adam, when I hit that county jail, when I hit them penitentiaries, shout out to little man Six Deuce Brim, the rules was the rules. Right. You live in this motherfucking life, this would come with it. You're restricted. The things you could do that are normal and cool, I can't do. Mm -hmm. You could go in there and say, there's too many black people in there or whatever. I want to go to protective custody, keep away. And nobody will have nothing to say about it. You won't get no backlash. I would say there's not enough black people in there. I need a new option. So <laughs> if I did that, I'm going to roll up. Okay. Shout out to Foley from Foley's. He's running that county jail right now for his people. This is real shit, right? This real shit. Vaughn, if you're that and you say you was that, you can't say that. Mm. You just can't do it. It's like a Muslim hungry and it's a pepperoni pizza right there. He can't eat that under any circumstances. See, I don't agree with that either. They don't eat pork, brother. If you're going to die, wouldn't, you know, whoever the fuck the Muslims answer to him, I'm going to name them because I know they don't like uh, non-Muslims talking about them. Allah. Allah. Wouldn't Allah understand that you ate the piece of pizza because you were going to die? Listen, brother, then maybe it's your time to go how you go, but they are going to accept that before doing that. Right. It's I'm, not with, It's not an option. You just seem like you're... you're well, it is an option. You're, you're being so about strict about these rules as someone who just initiated a, a collaboration between a gangster and a snitch. What you mean? Say in it again? In Miami. What about it? But why are you business. being so strict about these rules about how prisoners behave when you're somebody who a lot We're of people would say that prison. you fudged the rules I'm of the game by making a snitch shit. to a song with a gangster? The day I bring a snitch to my projects around my homeboys, any of that, I'm in violation. Straight up violation. But don't a lot of the gang members in LA think that you are in violation because of the fact that you're even working with 6ix9ine in the listen, first place? Listen, a gang member in LA cannot tell me how to provide. I'm going to tell you why. 
If you broke it in me, I don't want to hear nothing you talking about. Oh, that's such a cop out. This is real. Adam. Adam. This is real. <laughs> I do nothing illegal to generate revenue. Right. I don't even have conversations about money with uh, gang members unless they come tell me my grandmother's losing their house, bro. I know you know about it. Can you help us save it? Mm-hmm. Right? Other than that, I'm not going to tell you about what goes on in the parks in your garages. I'm not going to come in there saying why you got this snitch in the park mm-hmm. or why you hang it with this motherfucker who rolled it up. That's your world. Okay, so I don't get no money. Listen, and you're not going to tell me what I can and can't do in that building. If King Vaughn was from your hood, just hypothetically, they'd have beat the fuck out of there. That, that video came out. They'd have beat the fuck out of there. Maxed him out. But it's not a put off. He's still from the hood. He they just, gonna beat. The, I mean, it probably will be. Really? But you know, they gonna max him out. However, not if he's go. a famous rapper. They don't give a fuck about that. Mm. They don't give a fuck about that and unless he he might start to pay his way. The homies, the homies in the streets. I got homies in the streets. <clears throat> they run in the neighborhood. That's my little homies. I don't run the neighborhood. I have not because seen, I'm not in the neighborhood. I haven't seen a single BD have anything negative to say about Vaughn. Even and I mean, why? Because that's the fucking hero of their area. And even if he wasn't dead, I feel like it would still be the same shit. I wouldn't give a fuck what they say or don't say. What we saw and what we heard should teach these youngsters what not to do. See, nobody ever anticipated. A body cam from a county jail mm-hmm. hitting fucking Instagram. Vaughn definitely had no idea that this would ever hit the internet. Fuck no. The same way he didn't know all those tweets would be used to corroborate a Traveler Ross serial killer documentary. Right? So at the end of the day, I got to call the spade a spade. Me, him, them. If I use the word, I want to go to PC, mm. that is a violation. And you will be dealt with. It's ways of getting off a yard or getting off a floor and it's telling the officer you want to go to PC. It's never one of them. Okay. Lesson learned. Are you familiar with Lil J? Yeah. Lil J gay. <laughs> <laughs> so you saw the video. He had a trans person sitting on his lap. Tongue kissed him all that. He put out a whole statement saying that it wasn't him. Cap. Yeah. Because the boy and I had to go off King Yeller. King Yella. King Yella says he knows him very well. Mm-hmm. And King Yella identified that was him. King Yella also had a Say Cheese clip where he said that Lil J at one point was off an E-pill and tried to make out with King Yella. Hold on. Stop. You telling me King Yella said Little J on the street was off an E-pill and tried to kiss him? Word on the streets. Nah, bro, I don't believe that, bro. Can you bring a window up? Because you're a white dude, bro. You, you've been Today you tried to say the brother was weak. You said AB is weak. I think you're attacking the brothers, bro. Everybody weak. I'm King Yella did not say that, man. King he, Yella, Lil J, say cheese. God damn it. Why did it open a new window instead of just... Well, what the fuck? Did he whoop his ass? I'm not sure exactly how it played out. I just... It's been a while. We got to get King Yellow on it. What the fuck? I had King Yellow on the other day. Oh, wow. Look, the Drake and Central C freestyles out. That's so crazy. They did a five minute freestyle together on on the radar, which is like a, it's very influential, but it's a smaller platform out of New York. And Drake just came through and blessed it. That's fucking crazy. But. Shout out to Drake. Look at this. Uh, <clears throat> where's the fuck? I would think it would just come up right away. Maybe I should search the word kiss as well. Look, King Yellow goes off on Lil J for smashing his girlfriend. Maybe he's just a real sex haver because it sounds like he. Uh, we well, say if you do that, what? If you do that, you'll steal. You'll from steal from me. So Lil yeah, J, King, King fuck Yella, King Yellow girl. I guess King Yellow says Lil J tried to kiss me and talks Lil J gay rumors. So what did King Yellow do when he tried to kiss him? I'm not sure exactly how he let it play out. Maybe the original clip got removed because I'm just seeing this clip of somebody yeah, talking about it. Yeah, that's nasty work. I don't know. No. Yeah, I mean, there's been so many gay rumors about Lil J for a long ass time now that. So it's, is Lil J saying that ain't him? He put out a clip on his Instagram where he said that's not him. He goes, it's a different dreads, so different on, tattoos, different everything. This how we gonna know it. Yeah. The institution released that, putting it on him. 
Mm-hmm. If we don't see a defamation of character lawsuit, which is worth a whole lot of money. Right. Now, the only reason why he wouldn't file it, because at that point, he's going to force them to do what we know them cameras know how to do. Mm-hmm. Zoom. It's right. going to force them to show who they let out for the wreck. It was only like four or five people. So, so I have- Lil' J, we want to see you file a defamation of character lawsuit on that Cook County Jail, Cook County Jail, and force them to produce mm-hmm. the up-close visual footage. If we don't see him file that, we're going to call the spade a spade. Because, all right, you got to think about how they even get this footage in the first place. You file a freedom of information request to the jail, and then you put in, say, King Vaughn's government name, and then they send you all the clips that they have tagged as King Vaughn's government name. So the fact that Chicago underscore rares, which is the Instagram account that even got the clip of Lil J, the fact that they even have that clip in the first Somebody place. Somebody had to tell him. They had to, they searched his name. Otherwise, how would they get, if it was just some random guy, how would they get that clip Bro, in the first place? somebody has to tell them it's there for them to go in search of it. But he got in trouble probably behind bars at a certain point because of the fact that he had this punk sitting on it, his lap. It, it, no, he didn't get in trouble for that. That's it, what, otherwise, why would it have even been noted by the prison system in the, in the, the, you know, online database of clips? Something could have happened. You're right. Yeah. Because if, so if it just happened it. and it was nothing, then they wouldn't even be saved. So his into name the system, was tied you know? to something identified. He probably got him. punished at a certain point because you're not allowed to have a homie sitting on your lap or whatever, and that's why it was even coming up in there. Yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, Lil J, I don't know, I'm not sure how he comes back from this because he's a real, he's a real dude. Like musically, street wise, huh? at a certain point, oh, look, they were talking listen, about him like he listen, was the scariest right. motherfucker ever. What you mean scariest? Like. He was just really bad at it, you know? Listen, let's not mistake it. If he fuck with men, if he gay or whatever, that still doesn't mean mm. he not a serious dude in the street. Right. It's homies behind that wall calling shots on the yard. Mm-hmm. They got what we call the terminology on prison yard, punks and sellies. Right. Right? They run the yard still, mm-hmm. right? That doesn't mean they're still not capable of of doing what they know how to do, what they known for. So if King Lil J was part of your hood, and that footage came out, what's the response? I wouldn't give a fuck. He's not. He's not gone. Not at all. But we've seen that happen on Fig and stuff. If you, I remember. got homies that fuck with boys. <laughs> boys. Hey, we know that. You know what I'm saying? So do you disagree with it when there's, like, footage on Fig of so-and-so being put off the set? They caught him being a, a drag queen on, on Fig, and they beat that shit out of him, and now he's no longer from the hood. Do you agree with that? I agree with the decision of the neighborhood. That's their neighborhood. Right. Damn right. Um, but you wouldn't be worried about it. No, I don't give a fuck. That's their neighborhood. You think everybody else that you hang out with on more of a street level? Obviously, you've been around the world. You've seen a lot of shit. No, I think people are worrying about what directly affects them. Now, am I worried about uh, Lil J? Do I want Lil, Lil J a rapper? He raps. Do I want him canceled? Is that my campaign? Absolutely not. Right. But we're talking about something that's on the blogs, and you ask him whack his personal opinion, mm. right? Um, that's gay, right? right? Do I think it's going to affect how his homies view him? If they say he's his boogeyman, probably not. I mean, it's really just an issue of him looking like a liar because, like— well, maybe I'll even just search Say Cheese with it. Say Cheese. Even just if you search, yeah, Lil J goes off on people saying he's gay now. 610,000 views. I watched this clip. You know, it's like, there's there's a bunch of other ones too. Yeah, I heard him calling. Um, <laughs> Lil J responds to Bloodbath claiming that he was messing with men Who was jail. calling who gay? King Bond was calling Lil J gay? I, I, was, I heard a clip. One of them was calling each other something. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you feel about that though? Lil J on being in PC. The BDs had money on my head in jail. I was forced into PC. Is that respectable? No. What they res- they force you into it though, right? There ain't no force. I mean, the, the cops, the 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 prison guards can make you do whatever, right? No. If the police just came and got him and saying you going to high power keep away, uh-huh. that's not on him. That's not on him. But if he said, "Hey man, I can't go in there. They got money on my head. They're gonna kill me. I need to go to PC." Right. That's on him. Okay. Okay. Hey man, Chicago. I don't. I don't know what to say. I don't give a fuck. It's Chicago, a wild new, new world York, we live California. in, where you can like it should not. It should not be legal 
to be able to request those videos, right? Like this is not this is bad for society. What happens behind bars Public should record. stay behind bars, Public don't you record. think? So you think this is a good thing for society? No, I mean I questioned it when they did it to Melly, right? Melly definitely told, but my thing was this: when we conspire to kill somebody or hurt somebody, we get in trouble for it. And my question is: this footage you guys released on Melly has nothing to do with this case. You know he's incarcerated, so why would the law release it now? I saw some people saying you were wrong about that, and it was actually just released by a Freedom of Information request, like the way that this stuff was gotten as well. And I also was told that that stuff doesn't work in New York, so we're not going to have to worry about it there. It's, uh, it doesn't I, it, work it, in New York. Melly ain't like, no fucking New York. No, but like requesting the video files from the prison and stuff like that. What the fuck that got to do with Melly? I'm just saying it doesn't work everywhere. I don't know that what you could do work? this in I California. I don't know how this shit coming out. Because it, I would love to see all the greatest hits from yeah, the county jail in LA. I don't know how it's coming out. And a lot of these people ain't never did a day in jail. My thing is this. If we conspire to have something done to a motherfucker, right? Uh -huh. We on the phone, yo, this motherfucker snitch. Somebody need to holler at him. Right. They gonna book us for conspiracy. Whether right. we commit the act or not. So my thing is this. If the law enforcement, if they did release it, no one he's in prison. I don't think they have a choice. They're what basically like forced to. Re oh, I'm I'm talking about the lawn and the little J. Yeah, if they did release it, if they released it, no one he's in prison, and this shit has no. If it's part of the case and they play to doing trials, what it is? I think somebody requested it. Yeah, but see, you thinking? We need to know. We should have more facts before we come on. Yeah, but we're so, still doing a lot better than a lot of podcasts where they have like no facts. Yeah, you know. Um, I just listened to the Joe Budden podcast and heard this one fucking idiot just saying so many stupid things about what me. Idiot? You're not talking about Joe. No, not Joe. Joe's not an idiot. One of them idiot co-hosts is. And they're, Joe they're, flamed Joe ass up, didn't he? I mean, he tried. He took an L. He's still kind of salty about it. Joe did not take an L. Come you, on. You go watch the episode where I went on Joe Budden's podcast. You want to see a white boy eat alive a whole room full Get of the old fuck heads. Out of Get that the, shit. Wait, you're not going to back up your own co-host? Joe, Joe's my, my partner, but I don't think he took a L. Might have been a good one. No, I fucked him up. But not nah, 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 nah. It was bad. Nobody, 55th Street Alley. Nobody's fucking Joe up. No, I fucked him up. He's not going to let you. He's Joe's not going to allow himself to be fucked up. I think up. at that moment, Joe realized that he might not be the GOAT that he thinks of podcasting, and actually, I might be the GOAT. Send me the fucking link. Who's Adam. the GOAT? Send me the link. Who's the best podcaster ever? Spoiler, it's me. No, I don't, I don't even care. The best podcaster ever? Howard Stern. Not a podcaster. Actually famously talked a lot of shit about podcasters. You try to you trying to be like Howard Stern. Look at that. I only got half a million views. Should have done it on my platform. I would have gone way crazier. But two two hours, forty minutes, truth bomb featuring Adam Twitter. Why you be hating on Joe? You know, Joe say he's getting more money than you. How? How's he getting any money? Get the fuck out of here. He got a Patreon and he got an amp deal. Come on, bro. What? Are you saying Joe broke? I just wonder if sometimes when I see him spending a lot of money on stuff, I'm like, where's that money coming from? I never, he's a black I man. never heard a sponsor he's on a the black podcast. Man. See, wait, you know it's not about that. Because he's a black man. You're questioning if he's getting money on podcasts. I just wonder where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. I know where mine's coming from. I just sometimes wonder with him. No, nah, you know what? They got a Patreon that goes crazy, though. So Yeah, I mean, he getting it's money. That's what we do know. And he's happy. And he survived the transition from rapping to doing something. Mm, well, I survived the transition from riding BMX bikes to doing this. So, you know, that's a sport, though. Yeah, a very small sport. It's a sport that I broke out of. Um, dirt bike ride. What's the dude? The black dude, James Bubba Stewart. You know, you familiar? You no. rode the dirt bikes professionally. I don't know. We sold him his first low rider. Really? Me and my man Bistro. That's nice. Sold him his first low rider. That's cool good. little black kid, but I don't know why he won fucking low rider, but he won one. Do you hear Drake uh, dissing Tiger? That's great for Tiger. That was so funny. What did he say? What's your favorite Tiger song? What's your favorite Tiger song? <laughs> That's not a diss. <laughs> yeah, but the way he was saying it, it was definitely Tiger, shade. Tiger, listen. It was shade. No, no, no. Drake is Drake. Shout out to Drizzy. But Tiger got some hits, bro. Exactly. But okay. But the, I ain't no diss. The I don't context of it is Drake's doing this awkward ass interview with this girl, Bobby, who I don't know anything about, but her whole deal is that she's this awkward ass white girl. And she said, she's telling Drake that she doesn't know any of his songs. And this is kind of like a work. Like it seems like the whole thing is a troll. But Drake says, So if somebody said, 
hotline bling by Tyga, you would just be like, okay, yeah, I like that song or whatever. And he goes, what's your favorite Tyga song? She's like, I don't know who that is. And and Drake's kind of like repeating Tyga's name. And it's the fact that jo- that Drake went with Tyga as the joke for this example of basically like an irrelevant Drake rapper. told her to do that. Everybody knows Tyga. Come on, bro. No, yeah, Tyga's a legend. Yeah, you he got made a lot of big hits shit. over the years. Yeah, he got some hits. Are you a Tyga fan? I fuck with Tyga. You got to watch the clip because it's you know, the way I'm he says Tyga. Tyga. Tyga ain't never did. You know what? Tyga, like Tyga has never What's your done. Tyga song. Tyga has never done anything to me. Right. Um. He actually let me make money with him a few times, a few bookings I did, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, he always been all right with me, and respectable. I've exchanged DMs with him. I feel like he's ducking all these interviews, like you know, all these platforms, like mine and all these other he's guys. Making money on OnlyFans, right? I think he stopped doing that. Somebody tell me he was killing it. I heard he was really fucking on there. Actually, I signed up for his OnlyFans oh, and was, I saw his was, dick. Oh, he was so. What kind of motherfucker is you? Well, I just checked it out. You checked his. What, oh, Adam. Yeah. Oh no, he launched a competitor. What was it called? Uh, Ale for the white people, bro. Well, I just wanted to look at his dick, and I want to well, suck nah, it. Nah, bro, don't put no. I just wanted shit. to see what he was working with. You want what you mean? What is you, you okay? I'm not sure. He he. No, he, bro, Adam, you okay? He introduced an OnlyFans competitor at some point, but I'm not seeing what it's called. Yeah, Yo, Adam. Uh, what? Bro, you got to kick back. I just want to look at it. I think you slip it. You want to look at a man's dick? You know, I made a whole YouTube video about Safari's OnlyFans as well at one point. And you was checking him out? Well, I signed up and I checked it out, yeah. So you really want to go the transgender way? Naughty, naughty ready. Uh, I mean, tell see, Naughty I'm a chill. But It seemed to me like you want to try this shit because you tripping, bro. I was just scoping it. That's not normal. I'm in the porn business, whack. Yeah, but that don't mean you got you should look at pussy. Titties. Yeah, I look at those too. That's something I'm passionate about. Putting my face or my dick in a vagina. But looking at a dick, I can look at a dick and judge. You know, you realize like all right, I'm So if you was in a cell with a motherfucker, you would tell your celly, let me see your dick. I realize there are different rules behind the, the bars. No, I'm asking you. Would you be Peter gazing in the shower? Okay, I'll give you an example. If you were in the shower, will you be peeking and shit? No, because there's a time and a place for everything. But if when I had FYBJ Main on here the other day, he said, I feel like I should have a porn site and I should be making money off OnlyFans. My response was, well, what's your dick like? And do you know how to use it? Because, yeah, that is the thing. You're going to have to have a big-ass dick and you're going to have to be able to stay hard for a long time and you're going to have to be able to come on command. Most people can't do it. If you want to be a porn star, look, we are. We are no, talking about it right now. Not, this is we're real. We're not having this conversation. <laughs> but you, you this understand. Is, you want some weirdo shit. Bro. The same way that a guy Listen. who's really into cars has to be able to look at a car and say, like, oh, your uh, radiator fluid is is all out and I don't your, your know engine is busted is on, right? and uh, your tailpipe is bent. We're not I can look at a dick and say, uh, you got a couple of weird looking veins. You got too many veins on the left side and your balls are crooked and, uh, you know, you can't stay hard for more than five minutes. I have to be able to make these assessments. <laughs> you cover me. <laughs> okay. Now. I have to be able to make these fucking calls. I don't want to see your dick. But if you want to get into the porn business, I'm going to have to see your dick. You so weird with this shit. Everybody tells me let they want to be a porn star, but then nobody wants to send a cock Just don't let me know if you're weird or not. Yeah. Do you pay attention to your dog's genitals i have a dog and i i don't even know if i ever seen no he, he had a boner one time he had a little red lipstick sticking out but i don't really notice his his balls were hanging hella low before we got him chopped off yo you weird you don't notice your dog's balls they're hanging low you the they're, white they're, michael they're jackson. Like down to his fucking knee you the white michael jackson because i look at a dog's dick yeah, yeah you should you should go buy wonderland <laughs> <laughs> i drove you're by weird. it one time you're weird no it's not that weird it's, it's cool. It's you're weird, bro. Imagine being in the porn business and not being able to have an objective opinion about the size of a penis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is going when on? I saw like that picture that. of you with your booty up. Oh, what the what? I was like, oh, yeah, okay. okay. Listen. That's a nice muscular ho- ass. Hold on. First of all, <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Because let me tell you why people are so weird. That was today. your finest moment. Oh, hold on. This is why people are so weird. Yeah. A person to say something. And even though you're looking right at it, you'll believe what they say. When you say somebody has their ass up, that means they're on your knees. No, you were flat. Exactly. You want that's, me to pull it up? That's not ass. We up. could do a, a pixel by pixel breakdown. My <laughs> ass is not up. I'm laying flat. 
This is real shit. It's still just, you, you know, it's funny, right? Now, if I was in there with a man, it's a problem. I would still pod with you. Nah, but that wasn't the case. No, no. Anybody that has a problem with a man in a room with a bitch laying down on the bed, right? Right. This time was up with you. And that's what I was thinking that's with Snoopy Badass. Appearance. Snoopy was saying you were a little light in the loafers, and I'm thinking that's he gay. got caught with a bitch while he had another woman in his life. If anything, that sounds like the least gay what thing. What do you mean do. I was like my what are you talking about? He don't even know me. He never been around me then in his life. He just his theory is that he thinks you're gay. So why did he call me? Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe he figured this out later. He also thinks that a lot of the former No Jumper employees were WAC 100 sympathizers and that that's why he hadn't been on the platform up until the point that he was. Total lie. Have I ever called you about this weirdo? No. You're not even on the radar. I can't, I, I can't wait for you to see this interview. It was one of the fucking funniest, best interviews I ever done. My opinion of Snoopy Badass went up, way up. He didn't got put up. Put off like three different neighborhoods. And he's still out here doing his thing. Do Shout it. out my boy Snoop. What is he doing? Making music. Where? On YouTube. Let, let, let's pull up Snoopy Badass. Because I ain't never paid. I, I don't know no songs or nothing. But you know one thing about me. I am a manager. I can go pull up some shit. But let's see. That's Badass with two Zs. Snoopy. Snoop Dogg. I told him, you Snoopy, Bad. I'm Charlie Brown. <laughs> How long has he been making music? <sighs> Shit, damn near 10 years probably. He has 1,024 monthly listeners. His top five <laughs> songs is 8,700, 10,000, 20,000, less than 1,000, and 2,200. And hey, bro, stop telling me a motherfucker out here doing this thing, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. I don't want to hear this I'm shit. I'm looking Get on YouTube. What you see? Show me one. Give me a 50K. No, yeah, it's not doing too good. Fuck I mean, out of here. He got some songs from like four years ago that are doing. Ain't oh, yeah. shit. It's not 10 years. It's like four or five years, I think. Give it up. <laughs> Give it up. Go to work. I feel like I could bring you and him together, though. Who? Snoopy. He not going to call. He know he got to get socked out. You telling me he called me gay? Well, that's what that, you telling me. Not that he, he didn't say it definitively. He said that's his theory. But this is the cold part about it. I've never seen you. You found me. You right. saying because I told you to change your fucking attire from a loose size 50 khaki suit right. to something that's more current? Get rid of the jerry curl? You asking me a manager, what the fuck? If I'm looking at it, I'm going to come and be like, yo, we got to change this, change that. If you're willing to do that, I can work with you. If not, I can't work with you. No, I feel it. That's it. I'm a, I'll take your ops off the screen so you don't have to look. Ain't my op. That nigga ain't <laughs> relevant enough to be an op. Let me the ask you this. beat that nigga half to death. You ever have a run-in with KVD? No, KVD was at my studio. We got business. Okay. Not a run-in like that. I'm just saying like- He was just at my studio for five hours. What business have you done? Uh, I'm doing the uh, Baby Lane Orlando, Orlando um, Anderson series. What? I'm buying the life rights. Really? Yeah. But not through, him, through Baby Lane's mother. So what do you feel about the new developments where uh, KVD's wife's her, her just, house got raided? What are they looking for? You know? Nothing. They, look, listen. Keefe D running around, picking up his money, saying what the people want to hear. Right. And he probably said some shit that got their attention, and they looking into it. If he ain't already out, he'll be out. So you don't think he killed Tupac? Definitely not. Keefe D didn't kill Tupac. Okay. Who, who killed him? Motherfucker, ask Tupac. Orlando? Ask Tupac. I can't. He's Why gone. not? Well, ask, what you asking me for? Well, you want me to get a fucking Ouija board here? Yeah, hey, I'll listen, ask this him. This is all we know. You know what? I'm going to be real. Fuck it. I'm going to tell you why they killed Tupac. Tupac. It seems unlikely that he shot his own car. Out. No, it's not. How would one do that? First of all, when you involve yourself in something that has nothing to do with you, Initiate something with somebody you okay. don't know. Yeah, in that way, yeah. You initiate something with somebody you don't know. Everybody know Baby Lane ain't no motherfucker. You go put your hands on and let him live in that manner. Mm. Either you can get at him all the way or you wait to deal with that another day. Right. No, you know, you ran over there, kicked some shit off, fucked the whole death row dynasty up, sugar on joint suspension. He catch a nine piece because of the involvement in this shit that he, when he had to do something with Mike. Enjoy yourself. Homies is there on parole. They see the nigga. 
They wanted to deal with him to deal with him. It's real, real savage power rules in that circle back then. If they felt like it was the time and place to do that, they'd have did that. This nigga went over there, kicked some shit off, fucked up the whole death row movement, mm. and got himself killed. Yeah. They, he wouldn't have did that. When you say he fucked up the whole death row movement, you mean because the cops just became so into trying to he fought, shut it down? Listen, once he go, the homies ain't got no option but to go. Mm. You forced him into a situation he didn't want to be in. Sure got nine years joint suspension at the time, meaning anything he does, you go into the pen to do the nine. Mm -hmm. Because of that, he had to go to the pen and do the nine. Now, what happened when Suge was gone? The fall of death row. What if Suge got out right now? He got, I mean, it's over with. It's kind of weird that you never did content with him or anything while he was out. What kind of content? We wasn't we wasn't doing that. You wanna do a podcast with Suge? We wasn't doing How that. How did Suge never end up doing a podcast? Because he didn't it was a little while ago that he locked up. Like he was around during the internet. No, I age. think he did something with um did he? the Lakers, the dudes play for the Lakers. Who? Um, Kobe we got Bryant? a podcast right now. Uh Matt Sh Barnes. Did he I think he Suge might Suge Knight. He interview. did something with Matt Barnes. Rare Suge Knight interview from nineteen ninety six. Suge Knight interview from prison. That's old as fuck, too. You, I think you search he did Suge Knight interview. With Matt and, look how old all this shit is. It's like seven. He's called in and did some shit. He, oh, he called in somewhere. Since he's been gone. What's going on with R. Kelly? Uh, he get minutes back on his phone tomorrow on the 22nd. Wow, that sucks. They got him fucking waiting. You see how I fucked Tasha K up, right? Yeah, so what's the deal with I that? Explain, explain that situation to our loyal viewers. Up. Yeah. I fucked her up. See? She bit into a wax some dumb deranged gang member, right? Uh huh. Didn't see I was lining her up. Okay. So she charged following some, right? And I was talking to her as a female in the DMs. You have a fake woman Instagram account? No, she account? thought she was talking to a woman. It was a lineup. Okay. So I started, you know, talking to her. So you're doing a little, like, to catch a predator type thing? All that. All that. All that. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, girl, this whack 100 dude, he's a savage. You know, he might turn on me one day. I might need some backup and ally. She's like, okay, I'm with you, girl. I'm like, yeah, you know how he is. Like, he's dangerous. So she's doing the sh emojis and all this shit. So I hit her with, yo, can you send me your phone number so I can get in contact with you? And the bozo sent the number. Mm-hmm. She goes to Instagram, screenshot, and says, look what Wack has around him. This, this, and that. I had to go, bozo, here go the whole motherfucking DMs. You talking to me the whole time. I said, but stay tuned for phase two. My spies, shout out to my spies on Clubhouse, got a nice little group of them. They go to work. Mm -hmm. This how I was able to go to her place of business, to her office when I was in Miami. I went over there, you know, give me an office next door, Sweet 600. You did this? Yeah, I put it up on my Instagram. Why? Just, just to support Cardi B? That's my home, girl. I always support Cardi B. I don't think she would do this for you. That's my home. You know, you know what Cardi B did for me? What? Cleared, signed off, didn't charge me. For the thoughts you Nothing. Mm. You know, shout out to QCP. And, you know, um, shout out to Nephew um, Offset for, you know, supporting it. But ultimately, Cardi B called that dog. You know what I'm saying? This is real shit. If you're so tight with Cardi B, you better be careful about becoming besties with King Yella because her and Offset have an eternal hatred for him as far as I know. Who said I'm going to be besties? I just had a conversation with him. Yeah, but I feel like I you two would get along this. great. I mean, no, I fuck with Cardi. He I ain't no disrespecting Cardi around me. We ain't doing that. Okay. I, she's real. She's never changed. And I've known Cardi before rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to DJ K Slay, Straight Stunt Magazine and the parties. That's Sue's Rendezvous and a few other places down there in Brooklyn. Forgot the name too. Cardi was real. She's always been real. Right. Um, but, you know, once we got to digging and we seen the change in name and we got to digging and we seen, oh, she got a husband, African. Name. So we dug up on his green car. Oh, he married. Oh, she dropped her last name. This is a cash buy up under LLC. When, when did Cardi file? Oh, all this is within this time. Oh, he's just as liable. For this debt, as she is, she's hiding her shit under. Cardi, here you go. Bam! Five days later, they announce. How did you figure this out? When Shout out to my spies on the Hunter side. Presumably, she has a massive legal team. Don't matter. You fucking with the Hunter side of the trenches. Damn. So you Shout were, out to Levels. Shout out to Beast. Shout out to my spies. One through five. Great job. Yeah. Now, now, Cardi, now, see, I lose 10 battles to win the war. 
you laugh now, but let's see who laughs the loudest later. Uh -huh. Now, all of a sudden, it comes out after I didn't sent everything and put it up. They are now investigating the assets of this husband that they didn't know about. I love it. Hello. Yeah, she's evil. Hello. Take her for everything. One up for the streets. <laughs> One up for the streets. I mean, if I were you, I would say, oh, so you think you're great and tough because you're taking the assets of a black woman, an independent content I'm creator? One nothing. of the only black women on YouTube who commands a huge fucking audience in the hip hop she adjacent attacked. space. Let me tell you where she lost me. She fucking attacked um, Blue Ivy, bro. That was some bullshit. She got to miss all this. So she you're such a hip hop fan. You're standing up for people you don't even know as no, kids. No, bro, bro. That's a kid. Uh, no, I feel you. She And the only reason why she did it, because she was clout chasing. If that wasn't Beyonce kid or Jay-Z's daughter, yeah. she wouldn't have said a damn thing about it. Oh, yeah, of course. People talk about my kid all the time. I just got to ignore it. Yo, I brought your kid some diapers, too. Size oh, five? Thank you. Yeah, I think that's what my girl said, yeah. I got him, bro. I should have brought him in for promo. You know what happened to me? Huh. Hey, call one of my homeboys. One, one of my biggest ops from my younger days killed himself. Am I allowed to take a little bit fuck, of silent pleasure nigga. in that? Hell yeah. Bro. Where's, where's Grave at? He wished death upon my friend's kid. Hey, call. Tell him. Listen. Publicly on the internet. We're going to find my, his grave. My friend, on it. my friend had a P kid. Phone. My friend had hey, a go kid. go to my car and it's a, it's a box of diapers in the back. <laughs> the white Porsche. We're going to talk <laughs> about that later. How you doing? Like? Third, the Porsche cross street. It's a box in the back. Please bring it. He went on the internet about 10 years ago and publicly wished death upon my friend's child when he was born. Fuck that nigga. Where he buried And at? he offed himself you the other day. You got his name? I do know his name. Hey, Spies. I'm not going to go pee on the screen. Yo, grave. Spies. We're going to give you his name. Let's find out his plot. You it know what city he died in? I know, about, Listen, I know about three people on earth Listen, who even know bro. who this guy is. I'm going to give this assignment to my man, Beast. Mm. You got to meet Beast. Beast crazy. That's the one. A pee on his grave assignment? Well, we're going to find a grave first, and then we'll... I promise I don't care that Listen, much. one thing about Clubhouse. <laughs> we have 3,000 people that's a part of our side, collectively, with us. Right. It's not talking about our fans. So we're, we live everywhere. Mm. So whatever region this is, is this Boston? No. My man J.O. in Boston. Where is that? New Hampshire? I don't even want to say I got somebody in New Hampshire. You probably don't know anyone where this dude's from. Bullshit, where is that? Middle of the country. What city? I'm not going into detail. What state? I don't want to even give his I'm friends. I'm being a bitch, their... Adam. Wow, look at this. This is what I need there we in my go. life. There we go. I brought these for Adam. You got to give them to the wife. Oh, yes. Appreciate it. They are real. Yeah, All this time, I was kind of wondering, is he lying? Is this a real thing? So who's, you got You got six different babies on the package. Those are the incredible kids. Ziggy, Ish, Nero, Monet, Sash, and Donnie. They're all Donnie. different. They're all You're different. on here. Ish. I don't like that name. What you mean? What's wrong with Ish? It's just a kid's name. It's a weak ass name. Why are you calling the kid's name weak? Kids so you know that, that, that that's coming. That's going to be part of the um, animation, you know, cartoons and shit. I'm not even going to open this up. Bro. I'm going to oh, wait. You bro, can should you I know, open? I'll open it up. I got you. You can open one up. You got a bottle of water? Yeah, yeah. You got one? Here you go. You get, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's for your kid. Adam. Wow, look at this. Oh, no, it's real. I own 100% of that. Floyd Mayweather, we we inking our deal right now. Shout out to my boy Trav, Travis Wilson. Trav for the stars. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. My girl Tanja. R&B didn't help work on the Gotta marketing support side support black-owned businesses, my friend. Um, Kimberly I'll Jones. I'll never buy another Costco diaper. Kimberly Jones, all the print. Um, damn, I forgot her friend's name. She lives in Mexico. I just had a brain freeze. Phoenix. Phoenix White, y'all pull up, ask Phoenix White. Now, hold on. See how thin it is? Why you got molecules on this? Bro, because everybody wants their kid to be a scholar. Yeah. It's a unisex diaper. But okay. let's check it out. Hold on. Let's see. Adam. Yeah, show me, show me the features hold here. On, hold on. Let's see how, now, you see how thin this diaper is, right? Yeah. It is very thin. Now, it was making me feel like it might have not been okay. super absorbent at okay. first. Okay, hold on. Hold this side right here. We want to make it like a canoe. There we go. <laughs> Wait, do, there do, we go. Yeah, like a canoe. Hold on. <laughs> now, I'm going to over-exaggerate this. Okay. Adam. That's a lot of pee. No, 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 no. We just getting started, baby boy. Look. Oh, I thought you were actually thirsty. No, look. Water. That's a river, right? <laughs> no, leave, wait, wait. Leave it there. Bro, can we get a camera? Uh, can we get a camera? I want the camera to see. Bring the camera, bro. 
I've never tried this with another Hold diaper on. for the record. So I'm going to show you some back. Bro, get the camera. You see what it's doing? <laughs> it's absorbing. You see what it's doing immediately. Oh, shit. Look you at see that. how much it water did. I poured? It fully absorbed. Hold on. Oh, let me watch this shit. But I, are you telling me that normal diapers don't do this no, as well? No, not the fuck. Watch this. You watch what I did, bro, what I, I just did. did. You dumped a whole half a <laughs> bottle, yeah. More than half. More than half. Two-thirds right. of a bottle. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Let it. This is heavier than when my kid wakes up in the morning, Hold for on, sure. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Wait, it's tough. Bro, there it goes. Fu- wait, wait. I'm sold. They are incredible. Adam, you s- it's going to keep drying. Now, I over-exaggerated Look, you could, it. You could turn it upside down. Yo, I Credible feel like diapers. I'm on uh, QVC. Credible diapers. Floyd, let's ink that deal. Shout out to my man, Sam. Brave. Energy drink. Shout out to the... You know, um, the royal family of uh, Bahrain, my business partners, my girl Panny, my liaison for China. Now, keep it real, bro. Because you probably been thinking I was capping. No, it's Whack just talking. No, you're making me. I'm going to have to go home and do this same, ex- now, you same see, exact experiment. You see how thin that diaper is. With one of the Costco You see how ones. thin that diaper is. It's a thin diaper that absorbed a lot of fucking water. <laughs> I'm impressed. So we got any like signature diapers that are gonna be coming out? I feel like an Adam Twenty Two yeah. diaper, Adam and Lena diaper. You can do that. Whatever you want to yeah, do. Own the company. Well, hey, I'm impressed. You did it. That's it. So from concept to execution. And yeah, you're right. And you know, I hate. Well, I don't hate, but it is kind of boring when you look at the culture and everybody wants to be a rapper or start a clothing yeah, line. Yeah, it's just yeah. like Jesus Christ, come up with something you know, new. Um, this is something new. The idea to do it was mine. The print on the diaper and all that was. My wife, Kimberly Jones, um, and her friend, Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> Panning is my liaison. The marketing, financial side is Travis Wilson. Um, all the paperwork, the um, corporate structure, the minority search is Tanja Wright. And um, um, the marketing side of it, as far as the um, target marketing, is Jeremy Green. You know Jeremy? Uh, from Entourage? No, 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 no. Jeremy Green. And then uh, R&B uh, for my clubhouse app. Um, she's been doing the target marketing. and uh, I sent it to my girl stuff. with, we got them, in all caps, with an exclamation point. Motherfucker dry, baby. That's going to be. Y'all seen how much water we poured in there. It's gone. Dry white. There we go. Mm. It's real. It happened. Can I ask one last Tasha K question? Hold up, hold up. I heard she interviewed your side chick. That's not my side chick. I seen the bitch one time. Oh, right. That's how the bitches are stalking. Let me ask you when something. You say seen, do you mean put dick in? Eight minutes. I did it. I fucked up. <laughs> did it. I seen it. Listen, never took the bitch to dinner or a movie. Never brought her nothing. All right, good. None of that. Hard one on time. And the bitch is an ex. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Is that an ex, bro? You see a motherfucker one time? That's some stalker shit, bro. I wouldn't even call that a side chick. Side chick needs nothing. to be consistent bitch, I repeating. Ain't, yeah. I seen you one. I don't know a kid's name. The bitch lights went off one time, right? And she called for the light. I said, bitch, 99 cent store sell candles, and I ain't got nothing on the candles. My man Toot from New Orleans, though, mm. he went and paid for the, the bitch's um, kids' uh, fucking graduation clothes. It's weird, weird Wait, why? shit. I don't know what the fuck. Because she called him talking about whack Toby, fuck you. Bitch, I don't fuck with you like that. Don't call me about nothing. And and she's so much of, you know what she told me on the text? What? You come before God. I said, this bitch is crazy. I like that kind of devotion. No, 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 no. Especially when, it's coming with I'm going to tell my bitch right now, put me before God. She said, you come before God. We don't believe in God. I'm just saying, bro. That's You got to be really doing something like, at least a dinner, fucking something. I don't know her kids. She got like four kids. I can't tell you their name. Dinner Only, and pipe. Only thing I know is she beat one of her kids with a belt buckle, Louis Vuitton belt buckle. We got the paperwork. It's up on my – go to my Instagram, and you'll see the whole uh, rap sheet. She beat the kid with a Louis Vuitton belt so buckle. So you can get you can get dick from WAC 100 and get exposed for beating your kid all in one fell swoop. Yeah, real talk. <laughs> real talk, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nothing but respect for my president. Um, yeah, rest in peace, man, my little homeboy, KG. You know, uh, as long as you're saying rest in peace, I got a more serious one. What up? Rest in peace to Gilly the Kid's son, yeah, geez, who was just shot last night in Philadelphia. I got that call at 7 o'clock. Wallow called me, and it hadn't broke yet, and I wasn't going to say nothing, and it broke. Um, Cheese was a good dude. That's and Gilly, Gilly, as a father, we have talks. You know, he had been on his kids. 
about staying away from certain things. And mm-hmm. you know our kids be thinking we old school. We don't know what the fuck we talking about. But Gilly's a real guy in Philly. Right. <clears throat> but nevertheless, you know what I mean? This is not the time to say what the kids should or shouldn't do. You know, my condolences to Gilly, Wallow and the family, uh, Mac, the brother. I believe he has a sister. I don't know if it's another boy. I just know about Mac and Cheese and the daughter. But um, my condolences to the family, bro. Terrible. Worst thing I heard in a Gilly while, man. Dude. That's like, it's like everything going great for you. Yeah, he elevated his whole career and so then, much past what he had been doing earlier in life. And then that shit, like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. It's crazy. Um, <sighs> I don't even know what to say. It, they say he was like on a, a real serious block. Well, he's a rapper. I don't know if he, what kind of rapper he was, you know, what kind of stuff he was talking about. He didn't about. have to do none of that. Yeah. You know, he have to, you know, his dad. But then again, maybe he's looking for his own identity. But nevertheless, man, um, rest in peace to him. Um, Gilly's family, that's a brother. Um, as you know, when you lose a child like that, that's like our worst nightmare. Yeah. I just, I wonder for Gilly, like, how long until he's even able to, like, work again? Like, that shit's got to send you into a fucking spiral that, like. Gilly ain't going to let it. I don't know. Respectfully. Yeah. He's not going to let it grab him and sink him. Wallow's not gonna let that happen. Mm-hmm. Gilly's not gonna let that happen, and Gilly's wife, who is really part of him, is not gonna let that happen. They gonna let him do his thing as a man, but Gilly, as a man, he understands this thing called life. It's give and take, and uh, he gonna take some time to himself to, you mm-hmm. know, grab this shit. But I suspect in the next seventy-two hours to to a week, we'll be seeing and hearing from Gilly. Really, and I don't think. He's going to come back with vengeance. I think he's going to come back and continue to talk to the youth as him and Wallow have been doing of, of what not to do mm-hmm. and what could happen. Do you think – I've seen some people trying to be like, oh, that's what happens. Like, why Why was your kid still in Philly? I mean, that seems kind of crazy. Like, just because um, Gilly's successful, he's supposed to remove his kid um, from the city that he was raised in? I'm not in. mistaken. He was like, uh, Cheese might have been about 24, 25 years old. Yeah, he's a grown man. So Gilly could have moved him to Beverly Hills. Yeah. And Cheese wanted to get on a plane and fly back to Philly. His family's yeah. from Philly. and Kids are going to do His cousin over here, yeah. you know. My own daughter, right, is not from the ghetto. And we just kind of bumped heads because she was hanging in the ghetto. Where? With some friends. Motherfucker, Lamert Park. What? When she went to the block party thing? I don't know what the fuck she went to, but you know my daughter drives a Porsche and shit. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Is she? She's never had a sidewalk in front of her house. <laughs> you always say that. <laughs> no, it's fucking real, bro. So I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing over there? Everything I work so hard for, you know, to keep you away from this shit. You know, because she's, she's not dumb and naive, but she won't see certain things coming if it was coming. Well, she's not exposed to... Street life, so she no. don't know that there might be some. No, risk she for understands going to that, kind of that thing, right? because her father's never hidden where he comes from, and a lot of her uncles are like the guy you see there. But, and what I'm trying to tell her is, if some that draws us right. into some shit. Well, kids want to just go have experiences, and they they yeah, have a very very high gotta, risk tolerance. But you know? we want you to listen to us, so you don't experience. See the shit we experienced, we was able to survive it because we came up in it. Hmm. You didn't come up in it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was, you know. But she I ain't got, walking around and people aren't knowing that she's Wack 100's kids, right? Hell yeah, they know she is. Really? And I got mad. Like, I got fucking mad. Like, angry because she, like, start saying little shit in her tone. She wasn't saying nothing crazy. But I just want you to be the fuck quiet and listen because I'm understanding what that shit could have been. Say she wanted to go, I don't know if it was that block party thing, but say she she wanted to go to a block party in a neighborhood where you know that shit can get spicy because there was a shooting at that thing. Would you would you have said, all right, well, I'm going to send this guy with you? Well, let me rewind. I was bothered that she went. But what bothered me the most, she has personal security. Pitbull. When, when will you send personal security no, with she's been having personal security since she's been like 14. But not at school, right? Where she I don't go? give a fuck where she's she going. She's going to go to the mall if or something? She, if you're moving anywhere out of your comfort zone, mm-hmm. you're to call her personal security. Pitbull, baby crazy old from Harlem 30, but he FOI, mm-hmm. right? Whether she going to a TikTok party, anything, house party, any of that, you call Pitbull and you move. 
I have nothing to say about it. Does she get annoyed by that? No, because he stays out her way, but he's in the way to make sure she's safe. But if you're a young kid going to a house party, you want to be independent. You don't want to have to be thinking about your parents. You don't want First anybody all, watching over you. I could imagine Pat her getting Bull kind of annoyed by it, right? Is a is original Harlem Crip. He's now N O Y F O Y, right? So he understands a teenager's frame of mind. He's gonna be there, but he know how not to be there. Right. He's not shouting or walking around. Right. They gonna feel his presence, but he's gonna be out the way. I don't tell him if she's talking to a guy, take a picture of him. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm going to let her be an adolescent, right? But when I realized that you didn't have him with you, and it was so important about Pitbull, is the politics of the greater L.A., everybody loves and respects him, both sides, mm -hmm. right? And that's her personal security. So when I seen she didn't have that with him, it like kind of pissed me off. Yeah, I can see that. You know, but kids go through this rebellious stage, and you don't even know why they're going through. How old is she? She's 18. She'd be 19 this month. See, that's where it starts getting weird, too, because it's like when she's 16, she really got to live by your rules. Now she's starting to become an adult. Is she going to go away for college? She's already away. Oh. But not very far away? Or she's home on summer break? No, she away. She's home on summer break. Okay. But I don't even, even up there, she went to the dorm that I don't like the dorm. I want a condo. We ain't got a condo. I don't trip. She want a condo instead of a dorm? Yeah, she went and got her condo, kid, put huh? everything in the motherfucker, shipped her car she to her. She spoiled? Well, I mean, she get what she want, but she not like a, a snobbish brat. Okay. She's like a very strong mixture of me and her mother mm. when it comes to business and understanding shit. And I think her whole thing is have faith in me. And my whole thing is faith ain't got nothing to do with safety and security. Mm. You know, the good part is... um, but the people that they so-called say is my enemy, it's kind of one thing, like Big U, we share in common. He know that I'm not going to let nothing happen to his kids, and he wouldn't let nothing happen to mine. It's just what it is. It's been tested, been proven. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they did a fucking all-star. Gilly was at Crenshaw High. It was Big U's thing. You know, my wife and daughter was there. Mm -hmm. Did I want him to be there? No. Right. Did you want Big U to be there, or did you want your no, kids? No, it, it, it was his. It was his thing. Okay, but I didn't think you know that he. You know he gonna see him, and he gonna see who he always seen for the last. He remember my daughter. She was in a fucking crib wearing oh. diapers. Right, as Incredible I do his. Diapers, yeah. Right, I wish I had them back then. I didn't. <laughs> as I did his. So you know, it's certain. You know, mutual respect when it comes to certain things. But you know, these kids, man, it's like you be trying to tell them what it is and what it ain't, and they think we don't know what we're talking about because we didn't shelter them from shit. Mm. Until it happened. See, I didn't realize how how common that was, but there was the first time I had a security issue. I reached out to a certain famous uh, person that I'm I'm friends with, and I asked him like, "What do you do for security?" I'm just having that conversation with him, and he told me that his daughter, who at the time was maybe like 14, 15, he's like, "Yeah, I just I send security with her everywhere she goes." Straight up. And I was just like, "What the fuck? Like that's a crazy expense." That's like the it main thing that shocked is. me about it. But I mean, shit. Like, yeah, at a certain point. Probably makes sense, especially, but it's different because he's just a famous guy. I'll spend a hundred thousand. Nobody wants to, to do anything from, to him. I'll spend a hundred thousand to keep from paying a twenty thousand dollar funeral bill. Yeesh. Yeah. Bullets ain't got no name. Shout out Nipsey Hussle. So is your worry that your existence could be the reason why she might have trouble no, in life, or just the, the not, many problems that a young kid no, could have? I'm not worrying about that. I'm worrying about. A motherfucker coming through there, beefing with whoever he beefing, a fight breaking out, and a motherfucker doing the, the motherfucking old dog sh shooting shuffle, right. turn the gun and just shooting the motherfucking spot up. Right. Uh, it was a youngster, I forget his name, but maybe about a month or two ago, he was shot at a party. They say he was a basketball star, football star, good kid um, over there, but he was just at a party, he caught mm. a straight bullet. I saw a two year old got shot the other day in LA. It's how some of them saying, you know, like. Like a 16-year-old got killed and a two-year-old got shot. That just fucked me up. Crazy. Just, what the fuck? How is that even In possible? Vegas, I got a call that it was a road race thing. Dude pulled up in the liquor store. Dude jumped out, smoked it. Wow. Ever since you told me you got Blueface off on that shooting charge, I've been really thinking, like, maybe I could just blow some shit down and get off. Well, you're a white guy. It might work. See, I, I mean, I got that in my pocket as well. Yeah, and plus, you probably can send something at the judge. I'm gonna tell the judge. You probably isn't there something called white privilege? Like, uh, I feel no. like, <laughs> come on, man, that ain't what you use, Adam. You can send something. I'll tell at my the lawyer judge. to say that. You can send something at the judge. Send, I'm not gonna shoot the judge. No, send something at the judge. Send some, what money? Form of your wife. 
Oh, dear God. The fuck you be? Shit. You said her. <laughs> My wife you is a would, professional You don't think actress. she would fuck the judge to keep you from 10 years? Well, I mean, that, that, that could probably be arranged. There you go. Yeah, that's fair. Shout out to Adam Wife. What's going on with you and 600? Your besties all of a sudden? I got $600 million out of check a couple weeks ago. For what? Christopher Lovejoy for the record. <clears throat> Do your Googles if you don't know what we're talking you about. You know I haven't just started working with 600 So you've been cool for a while? I got him out of his contract with Don King. He had a contract with Don King? Yeah, shout out to my man Steve Marcano. So his yeah. boxing credentials run deep. He's like 22-1 and one or 22-0. and oh. Really? Yeah, we got him out of the contract. Um, shout out to my man Steve Marcano. Um, a lot of people are looking at it thinking you have to be linking with 600 because – you got issues with Crip Mac. He's, uh, I don't know what his relationship exactly with Crip Mac is. 600 will tell you there was a whack in 600 before the world even knew what a fuck a Crip Mac was. Well, now we're in the Crip Mac era. I don't give a fuck. That's their business. 600 is 600 to me. Right. You know, 600 still come by my studio. He pulls up. Uh huh. That's the homie. Okay. Um, you know, um, 600 comes through ways of S Mac. You know, reputable from over there. Uh huh. And, you know, I've been knowing S Mac since the 90s. Right. So, you know, he was uh, S. Mack, the one that jump-started his boxing career. S. Mack and <clears throat> Steve Marcano were friends. Me and Steve Mar Marcano were business partners. So that was a circle. So is six Mac, or, uh, 600 still looking for boxing matches? He's still well, he, active he, he in that field? He just came back. I mean, he just did like four matches. He made a couple million. Really? In London, Dubai, and he went over to Africa. We was, uh, wow. I was with him in London and Dubai, and then he went to Africa. Right. Yeah, he still go over there and get a bag when he want to. He kind of does what he want. Right. Four months out of the year, he'll go box, pick up a couple of me, and he come back, fuck around with the music, what he's doing now, then he'll disappear. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah. That's dope. But I, that Crip Mac shit, I mean, I didn't even know um, what that was. So um, you, you, you And his deal's not with 600. Crip Mac's deal with Four Leaf, from Foley's. Uh -huh. 600 is just supervising the situation. Right. Don't get that fucked up. Mm -hmm. I talked to Four Leaf. Right, so that ain't, but it was, I've been knowing 600 now, shit, I don't know, maybe going on nine years. So the you and Crip Mac podcast would be impossible to make happen? I'm going to sock him out. Oh, uh, yeah, see, that's that's not going to work. He got to get out. Like, that ain't no, dude be doing too much to this shit for nothing. Do you think we could arrange that fade and no no crazy shit would happen? Yeah, that's cool. I mean, that's see, because he might actually be down for that, yeah. Dummy, I had 100000 for the nigga. To fight Blueface, he let this crackhead, ODM Slim, tell him, Wax trying to take over management. I was going through Big Bruce from Cop the Crip, right, to do the deal. He ain't worth no 100000 I was going to bless him. I told him if I did any management with you, I want to do your comedy, your career. Crip Mac going to fuck Blueface up. Man, Blueface will beat the shit. You see how nice he was. Blueface will beat the shit out of Crip Mac. But I would never lie to happen anyway. I'm putting my money anyway. on the I'm not letting that nigga make no money and get no shine. I give nephew a bag before I let him do it. It's not going to happen. Damn, you blacklisting Crip Mac like that. I mean, he's not blacklist. He ain't even on no list. If y'all squabble, I think you could probably be cool again, right? He ain't even on a list. Really? What he's list is he on? List. That nigga can't do a three-minute show. I mean. It's yeah. over. There's a lot the of thrill content, is gone, right? B.B. King. It's think, gone. You think it's over? He went to jail too many times when that boat pulled up and the light was on him. He was supposed to do his thing. What boat? When he had the light on him, when everybody was looking at him. He they still was, got the light. Nah, no, he don't. Yeah. If you don't let him sit here, it's over with. Nobody gives a fuck. Before, he had his own platform where it didn't matter. Well, he they does watch, have, he still has They watch him because he here, bro. Well, he does good here, but I yeah, mean, that, oh, he yeah. does good on all, oh, a lot yeah. of other channels, Oh, yeah, too. for that, since you brought it up. Um, there will be submitting a letter of direction for Crip Max, um, whatever you're paying him. Foley called me, told me to tell you that. So that's a real thing? Yeah, you got the contracts. 600 made a video sort of alluding to that. and Ain't no alluding to it. Well, if, they, if they want to take some of his money, I guess it's not really our problem, although no, it's probably going to force us to renegotiate. Right? No, they're going to submit you the paperwork because they asked me, Whack, how do we do it? So you got to submit the So they're basically like taxing on his earnings? No, it's a deal. He signed a deal, bro. Well, I'm so saying, is that, part, is that what the deal says, is that they take a percentage of his earnings? Yeah, 50%. Dear God. Mm. This real shit, so they're going to be sending that to you, bro. I mean, I don't they care. They ain't got no beef with you, it's just business. Yeah. It's just business, bro. Like, it's no... Interesting. Interesting. What's your prediction for the Melly verdict? Could be coming out any minute now. 
I think Hungary. Look at this. 45,000 people are watching right now. Hung I'm not Jury. sure how interesting it Missed is. Missed trial. Hungary. Oh, well. They're trying to give him death penalty. This... If he didn't have a DP, I think they, you know, because they got some shit in his favor, some shit not in his favor. <clears throat> you know, to get a nigga the death penalty and keep him from coming back on appeal, you, you know, you got to... That you know, you gotta have a, some anti shit. Yeah, gotta get my man's out of there. I mean, I, I, last I saw him was at a lyrical lemonade um, festival in Chicago. You went to that? Yeah, it was up there. You didn't go this year. Shout out to Cole Bennett. I didn't go. This but year. you don't got the desire to go all these festivals because sometimes I think about it like, damn, I should go to that shit. No, nah, I go and I want to go. Cole's family, my man Stack Quo. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, That's all family. Got a relationship, yeah. At a certain point, though, I just the whole like dub is at Rolling Loud this weekend. I'm like, damn. Like maybe I should have gone. Oh, rolled a lot of Miami. That's just weekend. a lot of energy. I don't know if I got it in me. But this is the thing. I've been to a million of them. So yeah, unless same. I'm going to do some business, yeah. or I need to run into somebody I'm trying to do some business with, you know, watching it on stage, we've seen it. Oh yeah, I don't give a fuck about watching the performances. No, yeah, if I'm yeah. going to, you know, it's, I'm trying to make something happen. Yeah, cool. I think uh, Kodak goes on tonight. Really? Yeah, he going He's tonight. gonna bring six nine out. Nah, they won't let Kodak in. Wait, you mean Six Nine? Rolling Loud, yeah, they won't. They I won't mean, they won't let Six Nine in. Really? He's banned from the festival. No, nah, I just think they won't let him in because of everything that was going on. I, I asked him like a year or two ago. It was tripping. So they won't ever let him perform there again. Well, as of last year, they weren't fucking with. It. I think that he gonna get back there. I mean, it's misogyny. The Kodak verse is probably the best attempt at normalizing him back into hip hop. He was normalized when they beat him and didn't kill him, and he got up and put the shit in his video, and the video went viral. You don't think that he it's... was normalized? Then he was normalized. I'm gonna be real. Let's keep it real. The only reason why why the fuck they still on six nine four years later, and it been more recent people told right now. You know why? Because he did. Because he's Latin. He did it the best. Because he's Latin. He told them because he's Latin. None of the black rats, they ain't talking about. I feel like black guys are going to get judged more harshly. Bullshit, six, Cap. 6 ix 9 Cap. he's getting judged more harshly because people already hated him. Cap. It is what it is. What he did is so much more extreme. They're doing what the they're overall doing because spectrum of, of his talent, race, bro. What he did is so much crazier than what Gunna did. How are you crazy? Eh. That nigga looking at a Rico, these niggas is already getting out. The fuck you mean? Nobody got an LWAP. They trying to get this man life. I'm going to do my research, and I'm going to come back with a killer argument. None of them has got an LWAP. Drop your comments. Let us know who's right and who's wrong on this one. Fuck out of here. Four years ago, you got more people than told in the last six months, four months, year, casting over all these niggas. Ain't nobody talking about them. It's still 6 9 We, we got to go to Miami and knock out a Kodak pod and a 6 9 pod and Lord knows what else. Go down there for a week. You gotta call my man Nori, let him know we're coming in his backyard. Oh, go drink, do that, drink champs that, together. That's just but respect. would you drink? He made me drink a shot last time. Oh, you did go on before. But huh? I drank like 18 bottles of water. I didn't know what the mm, fuck was going on. I'm gonna flood my system. I'm not doing nothing. Pissing every 45 minutes. I'm not doing, I drank one shot. That shit felt like I don't know how to drink, so I just threw you it hated all down. It? Shit got hot. I started drinking water, like guzzling. I'm gonna be on drink champs with a white claw. You know, we come in Nori backyard, we got to call bro. Respect him. He might tell us to come down there. He might be like, all right, whack, cool, but you know, just a respect thing. Check in. We could line up a crazy-ass week or two of content out there. Yeah, no problem. I ain't nobody to call. Yeah, we should do it. I talked to bro today. Kodak Black called me and said he wanted to go to Drink Tramps and address some niggas about this song. Drink Tramps? Was that a diss? No, Drink Tramps. <laughs> drink Tramps. Drink Chaps. I did say that, huh? Yeah. No, no, I wasn't trying to say that. Okay. But, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's go down to Miami. Let's, let's be out on the beach and shit. I mean, South Beach. I mean, it's like second home. Yeah. Okay. It's been a while since I've been out there. I'm gonna bring you on. I'm gonna bring you on Fresh and Fit. You know. You even know about them? I did. That's why I interviewed Blue. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Six yeah. nine. Right. Before you ever been there, I was there before you was ever there. A black man opened the doors up for you, Adam. A black man. It's, oh, what's it's up with owned this scary, by two black men. What's up with this scary ass ex classman you got? Because. Because uh, Captain Tazar got ready. I just sent his number to uh, Laura. Presumably, she's going to be booking it. What's happening? My man is ready. Richard Spencer's coming back. I'm going to get a whole nother. Richard Spence versus Captain Tazar. The media is going to try Hebrew to cancel Israel me again. Like, no, it ain't. Because it's now we got PC. You had a white dude up here talking about some shit and didn't have no representation for the black man. Hmm, true. Some shit you did on purpose. That's a lot for me to. No, yeah. I, I tried to get Van Lathan in here. I tried to get a few people fuck, in listen, here. 
Captain Tazariak, who we elected to speak for us. He can he he's maintained his composure. He's very intellectual, and I believe he's gonna kill this dude in conversation. They're gonna argue about religion, and me and you at a certain point are gonna be sitting here just like, good. No, what? it ain't gonna be about religion. It's gonna be about religion, race, ideology, all that. Cap ain't playing, bro. Okay. Shout out to one West Hebrew Israelites. No cap. There is cap. No bat. Tazariat. So you blood now? You no, a that's what Chief Keith and them blood always say that. Shout out to Chief Keith. Chief Keith blood? No, he's a black disciple. Is he? Yeah. Now fuck with nephew. We they, solid. They, they take the C's and turn them into B's too. Yo, did you see that 4th of July shit he did last year? Where he lit the shit and they blew up the cars every day? Chief Keith, he always blowing something up or doing something insane, yeah. He's the best. Oh, shit. The legend. Wag 100, appreciate you. Check this out. Go copy Incredible Diapers. Incrediblediapers.com. You can buy them there. They'll be on Amazon in the next 30 days. I'm walk in the crib and be like, Parker, put there this on. There you go. Put it on now. Hold on, Adam. Put your hand on that motherfucker. It's like as good as new. I could, yeah. I could, I could squeeze this, and I don't even think you're going to get you know, nothing. Look at it. Nothing. What? Look, I'm Nothing. Actually, I'm Incredible. I don't Incrediblediapers.com. Go I'm get you something now. 80 that. packs for the low. I'm Nothing. Impressed. Incredible. Fuck Incredible. Yeah. 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 I'm squeezing as hard as I can. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs>